Dang! First of all, first of all, did you guys know that in order to be age verified on Roblox, you have to send them a picture of your ID? Yeah, that's not happening. That's that's not happening. I'm not giving I'm not giving the people at Roblox my goddamn ID. That is not happening. I kind of wonder if I could like I don't know, like AI generate a fake one. Ooh. Ooh, do you think I could do that? You think I could do that? You think I could? Ooh, that's ripe for a data leak. That is so ripe for a data leak. You just know that they're sitting on the information. You just fucking know, man. God damn it. Tricked me into giving my fucking phone number. Yeah, when you click the verify my age button. It says prepare a valid ID, driver's license, passport, ID card, or residence permit. Use a smartphone. You need a smartphone in order to continue. I'm not gonna fucking do that. Fuck you. An ID to play games is stupid. That's so stupid. That's so fucking stupid. I'm not giving you my personal fucking information. I already did give you my personal information. I gave you my fucking phone number. That's already more than enough. That is too much personal information. Anyways, and then when I try to connect to the 13 plus version of the game, it says this. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? God fucking damn it. Well, maybe there's another Roblox horror game. Also, when I exit out of the game, it opens up like a fucking Roblox motherfucking, like, home menu console some shit. Turn back to the doors. Use your ESL certificate. I should totally just try and make some shit up. I should, like... All the American ones are probably too obvious. I bet I could, like, find one. I bet I could find one from, like, like a smaller country or whatever that nobody else is, like, Googling. And I could, I could do that. Roblox is just TikTok in video game form? That does that, no, that's not true. That's not true, that doesn't- what? Do you mean like... From a developer standpoint? Like, like the developers of Roblox? Cause in that case, maybe? If you're talking about like the actual content though, like a lot of, a lot of skill goes into developing these. Fast PB, thank you for the one dollar. Welcome to Future Pippa. Kind of ID check is going to be the norm in under ten years. Big brother love. It's so fucking over for society, man. It's so fucking over, dude. We're gonna have goddamn GPS chips in our brain. We've already got GPSs in our pockets. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Never, never, never stop to think about the fact that. The government is constantly tracking you through your phone chat. Never stop to think about that. Because on one hand, you want to be able to use your cell phone, right? But on the other hand, it's literally a GPS in your pocket. They literally track you with it, chat. Doesn't matter if you turn off location tracking or... Oh no, I'm not going to give this app my, my current location. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, your phone is constantly pinging off of cell towers. Get a dumb phone. A dumb phone is still constantly pinging off of cell towers. It doesn't matter. If you have a phone... It's pinging off of cell towers. Unless it's a landline, I guess. Maybe? No, that would still be constantly pinging off of the local cell tower. So never mind. Um... Man. Man! Man! Okay. Well. My eye hurts. I need to find a different, different horror game. It doesn't even have to be a horror game. I just feel like we should open up with one. I just thought the Lagim one looked really cool, so I was like, oh, that'll be fun. There's lots of Filipinos in my audience. They'll probably enjoy that. Because it's a game set in the Philippines. But now! Motherfucker. There's so many of these worlds, too, that are 17 plus. It's like, what the hell? Okay. Chat, you have any recommendations? Let's go, Filipinos! Hi, how's your day going? My day's not going good! 
Doors? Oh my god. Why is everybody obsessed with doors? Mahjong? Do you guys think there's Mahjong? In... in Roblox? Now I'm curious. Did you show me thing with the two dollars? It does not look like there's Mahjong in, in Roblox. That would be cool. That would be cool. There's one world titled Mahjong in Poker. But I don't... I, I don't... I don't think it's gonna work. It says this game combines the features of Mahjong, Texas Hold'em, and other games? What the fuck? Okay, let's find something else. Hold on, hold on. Mahjong. Why are there no Mahjong games on Roblox? Mahjong in Fortnite? Is there Mahjong in Fortnite? Man. Here's a game called Mahood. Sure, that sounds delightful. Cart ride into Pippa. Is that a real game? Is that real? Pippa in experiences. It just brings up a bunch of Peppa Pig stuff. Um... Ah! No, don't print screen. Uh, Pipkin Pippa in experiences. God, the search engine thing sucks! On Roblox. Oh my god. Why is it doing this, chat? Why is it doing this to me? I've never had an issue playing fucking Roblox before. Why is it now giving me an issue? I don't understand. VPN? No, I turned my VPN off. <sighs> now the VPN's off right now, chat. Did you get banned? How would I have gotten banned? Banned because no ID. Oh my god. ID equals 17. Connection attempt failed. This is ending with a 333. Crank raid! Crank raid! Oh god, that's a blast from the past. Ah! ID looks like it want. The game looks like an ID first. Oh my fucking god. Well, chat! Well. Make a fake ID on stream! I, I don't think that's legal. Banned for not thinking of the children. Just give ID, Pippa. I don't want to give my ID! I don't want to give my ID! Do you guys want to play Mahjong? you guys want to play Mahjong or something? What's like a, what's like a good last minute idea? What do you guys want to do? Should I make a poll? Should I, should I make a poll? I'll let you guys decide live in real time. And fuck the thumbnail, it's just gonna be inaccurate, I guess. W what do? Mahjong? Give some recommendations, give some recommendations. Um... React... The videos? Yakuza, I don't have Yakuza installed. Deus Ex, we could do Deus Ex. Um... Minecraft? I don't, I don't know what Minecraft stuff I still have installed. Or... Class of 09. Maybe we should just continue Class of 09. I was tempted to put it up to a democracy, but... We could just continue playing Class of 09. And then I could really easily rip a thumbnail off of YouTube. Hold on. Not off of YouTube. Uh, Class of 09... Re-up. Who would have thunk that trying to verify my ID thing, which I did not, I did not verify my ID. But, who would have thought that even engaging with that a little bit would make, would make it so I cannot play Roblox at all. That is so annoying. That was, that is so annoying. I was actually looking forward to playing Roblox. Like, the little, little spooky horror game thing was just like, to be a good thumbnail with. Ah! Okay, hold on. Class of 09. Um... Re returning... To... The... Worst years... Of my life. No. Um... This game... Is... Too... Inappropriate! And then we'll put an emoji. I don't like my YouTube titles. <laughs> I don't fucking like my YouTube titles, chat. 
Poll or riot? No. Well, you're gonna be rioting then. Because I'm not making a poll. We played Class of 09 yesterday. Let's just continue it. Let's try and get some more endings. Poll. No! Um... Mum, 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 mum. Oh, look, you guys have never seen the intro thing before. Oh, well, oh, there it went. Riot, do it! Riot, coward! Riot! Riot, motherfucker! Hold on. Ah, I'm yellow! Okay. And now, let me, let me make it so I can actually read chat properly. Um... But now I'm second-guessing my thumbnail. I don't like my thumbnail. Um... I don't like my thumbnail. Hold on. Here we go. I'm stealing one off of Twitter. I don't know if this is too inappropriate. It should be fine. It'll be fine. Um... Class... Level 9? God, I'm turning into a Twitch streamer, chat. I'm turning into a goddamn Twitch streamer. We're just doing everything live. It's like, hit the go live button and figure it all out later. Dun 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 dun! Got a screenshot. Disgusting. You're disgusting! It's funny when a girl tells her story, only to be told back that it's... Unrealistic. I'll let you guys watch the intro while I, while I Almost do stuff. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. Caesar warning, by the way! For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at three in the morning. I was I the only one with a white entry. nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair... I really hope they can help me through this. It's me, I'm God. Yap, 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 shut up! Do we let the intro play out again? <sighs> Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just... moving it. Unrelated, do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? You were in the Girl Scouts? Yeah, we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit, not hang ourselves. <laughs> well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the Skip. rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. Skip? Okay. Oh god. Where are you um, even going? We've gone to the mall. We've skipped- or we've, we've hang, hung out at home. How about we go to the mall, but we don't steal anything? Two? You guys want two? Okay, we're gonna do two. This Get shot by the Homer again! Worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? Oh. This shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I, I need drugs, Nicole. Coke Zero. What, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? And I... I'm in math right now, staring at the pregnant now girl two rows down from me. Now i would be more entertaining than this. Our that smells like s'mores. Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? Mm. No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it, too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? I remember when Juno came out. That was such a weird movie. I didn't understand why everybody liked the movie Juno, chat. I don't... Coke Zero, I assume there was a sale. No! It, it seemed like it would be, like, a little bit healthier, maybe. Like, not damage my teeth as much. You still haven't watched it? Don't watch it. It's stupid. Lua, thank you for the one dollar! Lua, thank you for the two dollars! Lua, thank you for the five dollars! Lua, thank you for the ten dollars! Oh my god, he's doing the rainbow super chat. Lua, thank you for the twenty dollars! 
It was the year of the Vendors! Jesus Christ, Lewis! Oh, the year was the hundred dollars! All right, Lewis. The money has been posited, d deposited into my account. It's time for the. It's time for the shill time. It's time for the shill time. Hold on. Hold on. Did you guys know? Did you guys know that Lewis worked with Face Connect to make Iori's bucket hat? Did you guys know that? I didn't even know that until Louis posted it. I didn't know that! Look at that! Look at that! Excited to announce that Louis worked with Face Connect for Yuri's birthday bucket hat. Not fan art, it's official! Ah! You ordered that hat today? Very nice, very nice. And! Did you know if you go to Louis.com? Oh, never mind, it's out of stock. <laughs> never mind! Well, I'll, well I'll, I'll shill it anyways, because they've got other stuff. They've got other stuff. Hold on. But here's this. It's out of stock. But... <laughs> Wait, good work! Good work, chat! Um... Um, I know they have... I know they have a uh, Peppa Print. And they have Peppa Peeker. Is the print still in stock? The print is still in stock. It's kind of lewd. Or I guess you could say... Huh. <laughs> lewd. I'm funny. <laughs> it's kind of lewd. It's kind of lewd. But they have that and they have a sticker. And yeah, it's full of Easter eggs. But not in like a weird way. Can't you be... Can't be you not flat. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Big bad beard into Lars. Oh, I see money getting shuffled back to face. <laughs> it's all part of the long game. <laughs> Are those the panties? I don't know, you'll have to go to Lewid.com and take a closer look. That's L-U-W-U-D.com. Okay, paid chill moment over. See, this is gossip. We're having fun. We're having fun, guys. Oh, pie, Pippa, oh You're my god. fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all the way. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, Where is it going to be? Uh, yeah, we like were just one getting the... water oh, shut for up. the plants in AP ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are... From California, so they only use bottled water. Oh, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I okay, tangent. Sorry, I remember. I remember when I was younger, Mama Kim would be like, "Okay, okay, Pippa, we're going to California. What do what What are we not gonna do?" And I'd be like, "We're not gonna drink the water." And she'd be like, "That's right, because what happens if you drink the water in California, Pippa?" I'd be like. You get sick and die. And you know what? One time I drank the water in California and I got sick. David Dingington Dollars, California hate. California hate. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. <laughs> and yeah, I die. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh no, pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. PDF file. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Think uh, about no! It. Why would I make No! No! I wanted to get a no! I wanted to get a screen cap and I'd make it the thumbnail! Hold on! Return to the main menu. Yes, hold on. We'll go back. We'll skip back to where we were. God damn it! Fine. God. So where are damn we it. going? Our school. No. F hold on. Pedophile. What was that? There we go. Fuck. Oh no, pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other go. thing, but Sorry, we just too good. It means Skill issue. Shut up. Huh? If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every <laughs> now and then. Oh my God! Yeah. Do totally. I love being a pedophile. <laughs> There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick New us into Hold trying on. it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? What? The 
That makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah. So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? It's very simple. If a man wanted to be a pedophile and wanted to be around minors five days of the week, he would actually just become a politician and then he could be around them seven days of the week. And then he would never get in trouble for being a pedophile. Listen, Nicole, I see where you're going with this, but your plan is not thought out enough. Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers not smart are ugly. Enough? It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. Skip this? fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Did we hear this like, already? You're cool and everything, but you're just like, fucked up. Ooh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being helpful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? There's so no, many people! Getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out! Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first! Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually gonna buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. The fuck? A great experience in Lars Pillsbury toaster strudels are the best. They come with icing too, and they're available everywhere. Look for the door boy in the box. Woohoo! But I thought you finished this yesterday. I did two different routes. One? You want one gift? Some people want two? I'm kinda scared. The photo lab is run by a white nationalist. This is way better. Why didn't you think of this first? I don't know. I guess kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat we line We should be of safe though. We are white. of the dark. No, it's not the dark. It's just really red in here. I feel like the hoe's in Amsterdam. You're gonna be a hoe in Amsterdam if you keep skipping every day. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Uh oh. We were just um developing pictures. But you're not even in this period. Okay. But chat is Amsterdam the place that does have like the legal brothels and stuff? Is that the place, like, Hassan Piker went to? To sleep with prostitutes? Yes? Isn't Amsterdam, like, in Canada or something? It's a red light district? Taryn, my beloved? And legal weed? No, where the fuck is Amsterdam? Oh, it's in Germany? The Netherlands? Wait, I'm getting multiple different answers. Denmark? Netherlands? I don't fucking know. Well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the dark room to skip, are you? Some of us actually use this place for academics. Academics? You think a black and white picture of you holding a leaf is gonna wow Georgetown? Extracurricular activities make you look really good on college applications. Do you see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on anything. I'm not putting up with this. I'm gonna get the principal and you guys are gonna be expelled for good. Oh, for shit. skipping? Manipulate her or give her an eating disorder. Ooh. Jen Rollins and Dolores, same here in Nevada. Yeah, Nevada, if you go through Nevada, they have like billboards up and they've got like alien brothels and stuff. You gonna stop by every vending machine on the way? What? what? You know, to keep those love handles plump. That's what you're going for, right? I, I don't have big love handles. Don't be ashamed, right, Jacka? Uh, yeah, um, 
Lane Bryant wouldn't think they're big either. What? No, I gotta go to math now. Math class? You didn't go to math? A for the year? A plus, actually. Is the plus for plus size? Yeah, if you're so good at math, why can't you count your calories? Is this really necessary? Is that extra cheese at Chipotle necessary? I don't get that every time. Hey, no, we support it. Let's just hope the chairs at Red Lobster can support you too. Jesus It'd be Christ. so embarrassing for the chair to break on your first date with your black boyfriend. Oh my black God. boyfriend? What the hell? Oh, that's oh, what you, you have the issue with. Because I think they'll love you. Wow, fat and racist. Oh my God. So picky with men. At least you're not a picky eater. <laughs> Shit, where'd she go? Hopefully not the principal. Bad header thing for the Is it doing for more fuel? Yeah, that might have entirely backfired. I thought yeah. it's a Pippa. God, I'm so Blue hungry after doing that. Based on the the Red Lobster cheesy biscuits? Fuck no, Chipotle. You don't like the cheesy biscuits? They're okay. I'm a whore for the cheesy biscuits. You say you're a whore for everything. Oh yeah, like what? Bottled water, massages, internet, Burt's Bees, McDonald's French fries, Percocet, American Spirits, Blink-182. We need to hang out less. We need to get the fuck out of here before Karen comes back with a principal. I never understood the Burt's Bees obsession. I see Burt's Bees stuff like everywhere, and it was always in the household, like growing up. But I never understood, like... Like, what is it? What, 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 what is it? Like... It's just lip balm. What the fuck? Why is it popular? It's chapstick? It's a convenient snack. It's overpriced beeswax. Lip balm that smells good. A fad of the 2000s. I know it's got like a homeless looking guy on the front. Oh, because it's expensive. Beeswax product? It do be hella good though. What makes it good? Mmm. Whenever I think about it, I think of, um, this other thing that's not Burt's Bees, but it's a thing for when you get stung by a bee. When I was, when I was younger, um, and I got stung by bees, because I got stung by bees a lot, because I was an idiot. Uh, there was, like, this little green vial of liquid, and then on the front was, like, like, this kind of, like, like, cottony material? And you would, like, put it on your bee sting? You know what I mean? And it was always next to, like, the Burt's Bees stuff. And I always remember thinking, is Burt's Bees for bee stings? But no. Okay, dumbest tangent I've ever done. But yeah, sorry. New hiding spot. I couldn't tell a single Addy. It's like Catholic school all over again. Are we going in circles? I would think yeah, the Catholic kids would be buying a lot there of that. You, are. you have a lot of explaining to do. Shit, back to the bathroom. It's gonna be crowded. Look, there's a perfectly good explanation. Oh, I'd love to hear why referring to yourself as a pedophile would ingratiate yourself with your class. A couple students told me about it. They said it means I'm a cool teacher. Cool teachers have pizza parties and Jeopardy power Cheese pizza parties! Come on, it was an isolated incident. Won't happen again. Then why did Kelly scream, I knew it, after you tried your little slang? What? No, you haven't heard? I knew it is actually slang for you're awesome. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? No, but I guess I am. Troll. Oh, it's empty. I told you this is a good hiding spot. Ew, do you smell that? Oh god, I guess that's why it's empty. Who the fuck threw up in here? <laughs> oh my god, they're still here. I just wanna be loved! <laughs> well, sucks to be you then. Lead her into being fucking bulimic. Dude, she was probably already bulimic. <laughs> I told myself yesterday would be the last time. I'm sorry, Daniel Radcliffe! What? <laughs> I had things front doors. Nothing to do with this. I got popular while birds still own it because it was high quality. Then Corpus bought it and did Corpus things with it. Now it's just so so. Yeah. Now I can never look at this shirt again without thinking about how he made a bulimic girl relapse. Can I have it? Sure, whatever. I'm going back to class now. Figure this out on your own. Keep skipping. A theater class, art class. What if we just keep skipping? What if we skip like the entire day? We just keep skipping. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Hey, we oh, heard this hey, one. Nicole, you over here too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just like, I, I think. couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know, these teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest pop. Yeah, we heard this. I'm skipping it if you want to see, go back your to yesterday's pause, stream. Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two um, weeks to set something up. We already did now charity fraud. Let's use discretion. Dis discretion. <laughs> see, um. <laughs> 
sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started cutting myself. <gasps> Why? Oh my god. Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me. She's got the things, too. These are the things that uh, cutters in school would wear in order to make it very obvious that they cut themselves. Right? Because it's like... They like... They like... Here's what they do, chat. They'd be sitting in class and shit. And they'd have like... They'd have like little little razors or they'd have like thumbtacks and shit. Or, or they'd take like the scissors. And they'd be like... They'd be like... Like, very, like, I couldn't even tell if they were actually fucking doing it, right? But they'd be, like, making it look like they were, they were cutting themselves, like, in class. And they'd, like, they'd be looking down and stuff. And they would be, like, doing, like, the pouty lips and stuff. With, like, the, 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 the creased eyebrows. And then they'd, like, look up and they'd do, they're still doing the pouty lips. And they'd be, like, mm. And then, and then, like, you'd stare at them, right? Because they're acting like a fucking moron in class. And they'd look at you and they'd, 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 they'd get all... <sighs> and then, and they'd, like, quickly, like, very dramatically, like, cover up their fucking... They, they'd use the sweatband to cover up their wrist and stuff. And I wouldn't even ask, man. I wouldn't even fucking engage with them, right? But other people would. Other people would. They'd be like, oh my god, what are you doing? And they'd be like, oh, I just, I just... I can't help myself. I just get so... Depressed, um, it's because I'm emo. And that was like a thing that was unironically said back then, is people would unironically say, I, I'm emo. Holy fuck. And the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If Grinch anyone times, has Grinch a times. gun I could borrow, I could just take care of myself now. A gun? <laughs> Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh, my God. Do you need someone to talk to? Don't worry, no, I'll bring one tomorrow. I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, wait. Okay. I'm Nicole, eating those Brazilian this biscuits again. Classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. But don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the chocolate river from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Katz? Well... What the fuck? No, Face? no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. It would be one less paper to grade, though. I have to go, my thing. Oh, Nicole, Nicole, come in. Nicole, watching your work. The and just shook his head and said, right up. No. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's she doing I here? Think we're Normally they your are. Anti -hero. However, I thought I'd try something different, given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? These biscuits are so good! Using an I statement, please tell Nicole... How that made you feel? This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole, please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was mandated. See, when I was in school, when I was in school, right, what they taught was uh, to not use, like, pointed language like that, right? Like, you wouldn't be like, I feel like you made me upset, or I feel like you're not considering my situation, right? It was supposed to be like, um, I feel like, um, when you raised your voice, that it's overwhelming for me. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know how they taught us to say it, but it was like, it was a uh, pointed language. Don't use pointed language. I think I think is how they they taught. Soy school. It wasn't even like it wasn't even like the school. It was some bitch that they brought in to do like an entire course. 
I remember for like a month, she came back like every fucking day. Just to teach us this shit. And every time I argued with her. And I would, I would say like, well this, like this is not gonna work in like real life. She'd be like, well just give it a chance. And everyone would just kind of stare at her. Like everybody fucking knew this wasn't gonna work. Uh, getting rolling saying on the two dollars. Bud Dwyer's nose did the same thing. This a lot of saying on five dollars. I feel like when you yell at chat, you may not realize how it affects us. Oh my fucking god. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first, I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. It's high school! Okay, cool. Everyone's Talk depressed! About it. I can't. Alright, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait! What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. She's pregnant in it. What are you, gay? <laughs> How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. What the fuck? But are you... okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant... the other thing? Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. <laughs> but my cousin in West Virginia is gay. He says it's horrible. That's West Virginia! It's West Virginia. What ah! the fuck isn't horrible there? So, around here... You really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school ten minutes from the capital. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Oh, my Look. God. Hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh, my God, don't. Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part <laughs> of the story, or...? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so cool. Oh my god. Did a reading All this time, I thought this would be the yeah. end of my Hat? life. Also, a 30 round magazine, Texas not legal for some This is civilization, dude. What? Well, I'll see you around somewhere. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. That's hot would be what I would have said. Oh my god. I think I think that would have been like Oh, Linky didn't come big baby. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Back in 2008. How would people react to somebody being gay? I remember... I remember some of the girls... Claiming to be gay. But it was... It was like just genuinely like a fad thing because then... I remember... Oh wait, when did... Hold on, when did this come out? Hold on. Maybe this was in 2008. Hold on. That was 2008. Okay. Never mind. I was right on the fucking money. 2008. I remember some girls were claiming to be gay. And then, uh, I don't know why I like, eh, eh, gay, eh, eh, eh. um, fucking Twilight came out. <laughs> that was the year Twilight came out. I was right on the fucking money with this. There were, there were, oh my god. I remember, um, it wasn't, oh man, back in 2008, it wasn't really like rainbows or anything. I can't remember what, like, the... Um, like, the, the symbols that they used were. Because it wasn't, it wasn't really rainbows. Rainbows were more, like, just an everybody thing. And, like, rainbows were associated with, like, rave culture and scene stuff. But I remember, I remember there was, like, something that they started wearing. Was it, like, some bracelets or some shit? I don't fucking remember. But, um... I don't know, I remember these girls, they... They went from, like, being kind of seen to going goth. And that's when they were like, oh, we're lesbians. And they would, like, flirt with each other, kind of. Like, very, very, like, openly in front of everybody. Like, like, making a show of it. 
But then Twilight came out, and then they were obsessing over Edward, and they stopped... They, they stopped... I don't want to say pretending to be gay. Maybe they thought they actually were. I don't know. I don't know. James Cass, thank you for the $5. Even in my tiny town in a red state by 2008, no one really cared about people being gay. Yeah, this was in like a really small town. He turned them straight. Oh my god. Vampire kids were weird. Yeah, they, they, they very quickly became vampire kids once Twilight came out. They were you pretending. I don't want to say they were pretending, right? Because like when, when you're young, you know, like you don't, you, you, you might not anyways know what you are. Dumbo didn't come to pee-pee. So maybe they were like... I don't know. I'm inclined to believe that like one of them probably like actually confessed to the others and then all the others like co-opted it as like a... attention thing. Cause it was a- it was a really weird group of girls. I don't know. Depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's gonna water it down. You sound like my boomer uncle. I feel like... with boomers, it's more like, of course they were pretending to be gay. Gay is something that you become over time, but or whatever. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know, hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Ooh, hold on. Mm, another mental disorder. Well, back in 2008... Um... Split personality disorder. Uh, and now in the year of our lord 2023... Uh, your options are... Oh yeah, oh, oh, or she could do OCD. That was also a thing in 2008. You could do, you could do, um, oh, oh, what, bipolar, was bipolar as much of a thing back then? I don't know. Now you can be like, I have ADHD, I have Tourette syndrome, I have autism, I have, uh, schizophrenia, I have... Where, what's like the list? Hold on. TikTok mental illnesses. List. Don't worry, chat. The top 10 mental health... Oh wait, no, influencers. No, I don't want influencers. I want... I want... Nine mental health trends. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Wait, these aren't... God damn it. I want like a nice, concise list, you know? I want... I want like... List of mental illnesses popular on TikTok. Naturally negative thing for the Lord. The power of Twilight compels you. The power of Twilight compels you. These lists are so short. I know that there's like a bunch of them. There's like a bunch of them that are really popular on TikTok. Ooh, wait. Hold on. I think I found a chart. Yeah, okay, okay. Nowadays, if you're on... if Listen, nowadays, if you want to come up with an excuse for your counselor, here you go. It's 2023. I have schizophrenia. I have borderline. I have DID. That's dissociative identity disorder. I have bipolar disorder. I'm neurodivergent. I'm obsessive compulsive disorder. I'm depressed. I have autism. I have ADHD and ADD. I have Tourette's. I have anxieties. I have... Asperger's! And bulimia! There you go. Brian Matheny, they give the $10 your tangents are becoming legendary. We saw Pippa! Same, Pippa, same! Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Men <laughs> I'm a surgeon! Horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia, good choice. Ooh. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. 
Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like, like so Democrat. You're just using <laughs> some back this visit. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay or... I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda's show a lot. I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? Uh, I did another thing for Dolores. Wow, Pippa, I didn't know you're bulimic, but the rest was obvious. Spider did thing with Dolores. Hi, Faze Weekly. Jesus Christ. I remember, I remember one of the schools I went to. Um. Oh, I, I, oh, this was like after I had, I had gone for a while and then come back to the same school. And I didn't end up sticking around at the school for very long after this, but... Um, I remember I was sitting alone at the lunch table, and I was adopted by this, by, by, by... I guess just to put it bluntly, like a pseudo-popular gay kid. Like, gay guy, like, walks up, is like, oh, do you need people to sit with? And I was like, not really. But he just, like, kept being nice and stuff, and they brought me over a table, and, and there were all these other girls, and I, I bribed them with, like, with like, I had a bunch of snacks in my bag. I was just, I just started handing out. I was like, here you go. Would you like some granola? Would you like some, would you like some coffee cake? Would you like, and I just, I just kept, I just kept handing everything over. And for the, for the remainder time that I was there. It wasn't very long. I, I only went back to that place for like, two weeks or something. But, I had an in! I had an in! I had been adopted! Jin Rollins and Dolores Gender Dysphoria is also trendy. Crossover Man and Dolores is classable 9 a horror game or a high school drama. Uh, is there anything with a get pee pee? But then I remember, I remember another school that I went to, the fucking secretary lady. When I was first enrolling, she was like, Oh, you're shy? Don't worry about it. There's plenty of girls that will adopt you. And I was like... Well, now I don't want to be. One joke man thing in front of Fun fact, mood disorders, they know something is wrong with them. Personality disorders, they may not know something is wrong with them. Uh, Bahamut thing with Dolores, the gay guy like Pippa. Femboy confirmed. Oh my god. Like a dog. Like a dog. Well, it's like, it's like, you adopt somebody, you like, you like, take them in to like, to, to your, to your fold and stuff, you know? Introverts recognize other introverts is why. I never did, I never did get adopted. At that school. I was too standoffish. I was too... I was too... This is after I had... I, I had returned from neatdom. And I just... Like, I didn't like people before I became a neat, but then after I, I had my, my few years as a neat, I was just like, eh, eh, I fucking hate all of you, we don't have any common interests. I, the most, the, the person I relate to most is the one other, uh, computer, computer girl, but she's really fucking annoying. So. That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. You were talking about Jack because I knew your sister. Um, nice. How proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks, it's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get, thing with for, for, for the five dollars? so brave. For just five dollars, you took it out of Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. There's this one bitch. Oh, fuck. What is her name? Oh, eight passengers. Have you guys, have you guys heard of that situation? I keep saying the video is recommended and, and I, I, I put them on, but I don't have the attention span to sit down and watch them. Um, eight, eight passengers or something like that. The mom, yeah, she's like, she's like this YouTube mom that got arrested because she like starves her kids and stuff as punishment. And one of the clips that I saw of her, she was like, she was talking about how... Oh, fuck, I don't remember the entire context, but she was talking about how if her kids were gay that she would... She would have to punish them until they weren't gay anymore. And, and then one of the daughters did like an interview thing and she was talking about how like... 
I, I, I think she said her mom used to try and, like, beat the sin out of her and everything. She's crazy. She's crazy. An eight passengers person. I guess the neighbors are, like, on record saying that they were like, they were like, yeah, we were really surprised that something ended up happening and it was positive, like her getting arrested, because we always just expected one day we'd see body bags coming out of that house. She's crazy. Uh, her son, her, I think it was her oldest son, um, played a prank on one of the other sons, telling them that they were going to go to Disneyland, but actually they weren't going to, right? He was just playing, he was just playing a prank. And so the mother punished him by taking away his bed for seven months. She took away his fucking bed for seven months. She's crazy. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. No, they're not but called that anymore. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Oh, Twitter moment! Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl, but does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we... you know... Society creates laws, but laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Yeah, go um, fuck them dogs. How do you feel about I'm joking, that, man, Nicole? Boys. Do you have on a tangent? I, feel this statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Well, she is Maybe, 15. But I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Oh, my Did God. Did you say in the wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said Flash that. Moment. I'm merely open I said dogs, not horses. to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Fuck your therapy, tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. Jesus Christ. That wasn't, like, a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. You don't like this anymore? Really oh, but you are fine that. with everything else, Jinx. Sticking up for who? me okay i i really appreciate it if we get the uh -huh. yuri route this is um oh my god this is so fucking stupid kind of is nicole i've um since we started doing this group counseling together i've actually kind of been thinking a lot about you but not in a weird way right no it's it's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just you were the first person I came out to and what you said in there and your whole look. And I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. It's high school! You're not like all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me why. You, um, do you like girls, too? I didn't know anything about lesbians. Well, the story, skipping class is gay. Try lesbianism before college or make a gay girl cry. Well, let's save here and we can try both. Those options. I'll tell you everything. We're doing this our clip eyes. about the allegations? No! Do you want All right. to? You... Yeah. How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. What the fuck? Where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Oh, Damn, you're never going hot. swimming. 
It is. Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you what messing the fuck? with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, now kiss! Yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power Whoa. seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. We unlock the Yuri okay, route I'll chat. see you after school. I love you. Bye. What did I just walk in on? Gay sex. Why'd you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. This is the manga Do section. I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different. Like me. We are nothing like you. And why is that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But Man, I no have done that to my manga. Gets. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go buy Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste bad? What the fuck was that? And then the counselor got so Ted, I'm scared to ask at this point. What are Whippets? He's gonna make anime reviews. No! <laughs> He's gonna go kill some people at a grocery store. You don't know? The fuck are Whippets? Ask Kirsha? Well, if you insist. Kirsha, what are... Whippets? Nitrous Oxide? What the fuck? Oh, she's still snoozing. Oh, okay. Well, we'll we'll just we'll just continue then. Weird. He called my mom and told her I might have. Is his name with a? Can you look up Dennis Leary explaining puppets? And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour long fight over it, right, honey? Right, honey. Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries. Then I think it was. It's an energy drink. I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. Soft kiting with the doors. Blue bits are having CO2. I know too. She's not gonna do anything. Something can be me. Yeah. What are you special or something? Why do you care? It's hard to hose like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Don't worry, Obama oh. will do that too. Well, it's sorry, dude, but your dad sounds Nicosia's really fucking Nicosia gay voting outside? for McCain. What? what? No, no you're gay. What? Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Mwah. Okay, Aww. I'll be right back. Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. Oh, She's true. Your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, Oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off. 
I've seen her with guys before. I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with win? girls. It's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Well, I think because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's going to try it at least once or nine is times. I try it with nitrous so oxide. First time you're curious. Second time you're bored. And ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to say how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full-time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Oh, my Isn't God. There more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. God damn. I don't believe her. Yeah, these bicurious hoes, fuck them. I don't think I've This is the most pink pilled game I've ever seen or heard in my life. Where did you find okay. this monstrosity? Are you done? No, Care shut shop? up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. Oh my god. Your oh, pirate robbers taking to Dolores. So about those allegations. I, um, hey, listen, uh. I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. You speak Sigma female grindside? I was grindside? totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch. Oh my I'm god. I'm dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. She's just I like Lumi. I'm starting to love you too. Oh my god. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone you guys thought Jekka was Lumi, but actually it was Ari. No, just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. We're dizzy, Spice yeah. Spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just? Don't you love me? <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're really forgetting spread. something. Oh, right. Sorry. I think I'm too large. Good girl. Total sip. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. What That's the nice. fuck? What I'm the out of fuck? the two dollars. What's her problem, right? relationship goals. No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Kind of based. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. Well, no, this so isn't a name thing. You're advantage of the, the, fact the stream? only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you this tell her everything endless. you just told me? The and dynamic, Disney? the game, everything. <laughs> I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. Please take them from I didn't know Pippa and Dizzy were in the end. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. Again, I apologize the for the misunderstanding Smallville? we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Because he's a proud yes, one. Yes, anyway. Nicole. It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? A Superman? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You, you can speak CW. about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. And I'm really? doodling to us. Pippa's Tell dream relationship. Um... He was in jail, and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he, he in jail in the first place? To recover? He broke somebody's camera, and now his new album's delayed or something. Could he buy the new album? The guy who Do made this game writes be better than actual TV and film these days? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. 
Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. Oh, so you're homophobic! Hey, no, the F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Homophobic. Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? You, you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! Ah. This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom what? has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. I remember the George Lopez pedophile Nicole? episode. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry. I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. Too it was, uh... What the Why fuck? Why are you dating me? I want- Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? The fuck does this say? I want her to break me? I would drink out of a dog bowl for her without the slightest hesitation. God, please, I need this. You're sick. You're fucked up in the head. You're a sick motherfucker. Two speeds. Put the credit card down. Alright? Save your money. Spend it on therapy. Dang, I don't know. It's just... I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt doesn't see through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been that, for the last that, couple of weeks. That, 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 awesome. That, 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 Maybe that, awesome that, that, for you. That, which is good, but that, 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 what you said about how abuse works. Don't make me worry. Is that I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't Good think time. you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Go we'll beat the shit out of her. Well, make I her take you back. Tell myself. Oh, okay. That works too. Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. What about an office chair? Are you saying you made out with a guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, and the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Ooh, now I, I want to take a bath. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? I have bath bombs. Hey, Nicole. Hi. I just wanted to I talk sent it a like coffee. Again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression. I don't want to kill myself, I just want to smell like coffee. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah. That sounded uh, bad! 
that's not exactly an <laughs> option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Oh, my Is God. That... Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The she store? was thinking oh, it! Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. What the fuck? Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about fuck? Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, Oh my god, please shut the fuck the up. Thing every day. Clothing really doors. How they I guess high school very accurate. And how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realized that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. Well, you're still a lesbian then! You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now, she's just gonna be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? It's her fault for not trying again. gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. Thank you, What's the bars. difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. I told my so coworker he looked like the type to do whippets, Bitch, and my other coworker laughed really hard at him. how bad that is? I'm the work funny guy now. Work nice. this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. What's the other thing, Lars? Are you hyper -based? usually you do it to men. I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say, he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? I'm homophobic. Bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. Jesus Christ. You ever feel guilty? For oh, just that's such a good picture, though. She, feel guilty? she poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her oh, it's hot. A, she cuts herself. And there's I a cut on her ass. But am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried the about fuck what did girls that mean? are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. The fuck are you I'm rambling about? Those, fuck. Okay. Ari, gay one. You a fucking bitch. Every time I miss you, I remind myself it's exclusively for the sex, and I can pay for that, so bitch, you're not priceless. Not even close. Yes, call me FWB. Sorry. High as fuck right now. Thank you, Keating, for Laura's Pippa. Since you broke up with you, does that mean you're single now? I'm married to Colris. Okay, so what if we... what if we pick the other option? The make a gay girl cry? Whoa, that was our last option? That was the last time we had an option? Was make a gay girl cry? Mumbling mercy and then come be Whoa. Well. What do you guys think? Is she gonna kill herself or is she gonna turn straight really early on? This one's gonna be tough. 
Oh, this shit's fun. Fun why? You don't think it's weird to tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay? I... I guess I wasn't thinking... I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you were my girlfriend, what would you do for me? Who's be zinger than Lois? Look, Pippa, you have Chloris. I have mentally disturbed Damn. lesbians so who want me dead. So any ass shit you're just down for? For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you A girl's want. got needs, you feel Could me? I smack the shit out of you in public? And yes, mine... Please. What the uh, fuck? Self-esteem. Am I too desperate? Mine no, is to be bullied in the carpet by girls who wants... My self-esteem is through the roof right now. What the fuck? How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking of off, you're not going to off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? Why the fuck would I give my eye touch to a girl rejecting me? Sorry, it works with guys. Never mind. Does this feel like a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm going to be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're not? Worst case scenario, they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. Bitch. Jesus Christ! He green anything from the last bit. You, you are married to Chloris, you're holding Chloris hostage movie. in your basement, there's yeah, a difference. The one with the milkshake no. song? Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to watch it online and the movie website said it was 3 out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. I know. I tried clicking 9 stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. Did you? Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. Huh. That means all the opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. True! No, it's so dumb. Like, maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. And websites where you don't have to sign in to vote? People like me, who are very opinionated, will open up multiple different web browsers in order to, in order to rig the voting. Are you saying that hating date movie makes you- Sorry, and an incognito and a guest browser. You a virgin? I mean, basically. I could get behind that. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like, what did they think's a good movie? And all their nine-star movies Skip are so in. boring. Have you seen The Godfather? I've heard of it. My dad made me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History X, but I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Does it work? Yes. How long ago? What's it about? A racist guy. You like a movie about a racist guy? That's kind of like racist. moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know where he got that. But so another movie was- Oh, look who it is. It's the school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. We heard what you said. And we heard what you did to Ari. You'll really reject a gay girl, then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here? Oh, okay, so it's okay when I'm a white nationalist, but when I'm homophobic, that's where you draw the fucking line at this school? Oh, so now conversations are worth broadcasting? I only mentioned it to one person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. Ari told people too. You're sick, Nicole. Pretending there isn't bigotry here. It must be nice to ignore it. What, are you gay? No. Then fuck off. You don't need to be gay to fight homophobia. I never said she can't be gay. I I'm said not no a white nationalist, hater for by the way. Gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. It was in the other game. There was another- It was in the earlier game. Chat, in one of the earlier games, you, there's a white nationalist route. There's like three different endings. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? Do you just have a list of sayings memorized? Actually, we have a list of 500 signatures. 500 signatures in favor of expelling you for gay bashing R. Oh my god, I remember when that was a term. The Dino Man thing around $20, you're my second favorite autist rambler second only to our Dark Lord. I remember when gay bashing was like a, was like a term that got thrown around. Do you guys remember that? I haven't heard that term in forever. Damn, that's a lot. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Over the last two days. And I think While it's you are safe being to say that people have spoken. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate gay people? If there's such a mass homophobia that you're problem gay. at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Ugh, so ignorant. The GSA club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for- Oh, the Gay Straight Alliance. Liam Nolan in Nintendo Wars. I can excuse the KKK, but homophobia is a bridge too far. I think it was Ingrid Wars because Irie is white. Oh, okay. For a conversation about this. Come on, let's get more signatures. Homophobic? Come on, man. Am I going crazy here? 
Yeah, this feels a little over the top. Can you, like, talk to people for me and clear this up? Hell no, not getting involved. Oh, Ari! Yeah? What's this shit about me hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they just kind of had their own conclusion. Well, can you tell- Why the f- Oh, like Twitter when I played the Harry Potter game. Fuck would I do anything for you. You rejected me. This is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I got your picture. You did? Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like... No, sorry, I'm not there yet. Maybe in college. Dumbest advice ever. Who would advise her to randomly sext people? Oh, shit. I thought you didn't realize it's just like Portland. Yeah, no, get your own. As you might be aware, the school's GSA has been petitioning for your immediate expulsion. The fuck's a GSA? Gay Straight Alliance. So if a gay girl asks me out, I'm just not allowed to reject her? I'm not exactly sure that's what they're saying. The claim is that you bullied a gay girl by downplaying homophobia. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this all became a thing because I wouldn't go out with her. Well, I'm sorry, but that detail doesn't seem to be relevant in the documentation for this petition. What do I have to do to Nature prove Valley I'm not homophobic and make butter out biscuits. with her on public access? Nicole, you know the public access stations wouldn't allow that. Don't be disingenuous. Okay, then Channel 4, 5, the CW, what? That's not what I meant. Well, what Shut do I have to up, do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit! Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? Slightly better. She stole one of my homework excuses and I got stuck in group counseling with her. Ari screwed me over first. Listen, she, she could have said a lot worse. Lou Bogaloo, they even found the worst people has confirmed white w wabbit list and homie foe be- What the fuck? No, I'm not. No, I don't mind they were $20 in all seriousness. No, I love your content. Keep it up, but only if you love it. Well, thank you, thank you. I enjoy this game. Nicole, this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed. I wouldn't put selling a bag of stems past her either. Look, it Wait, that was a thing just recently! That was a thing just recently where, where a guy called the- Oh, wait, no, I think it was a woman. I think a woman called the police in the parking lot of some fast food place because the drug dealer scammed her. Plain on it, I think, with my This school really do be like gay rights are white rights. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, God. Either write her a letter, go to a sensitivity retreat, or be expelled. Sensitivity retreat? Is that like conversion therapy? Third person reverse conversion therapy. What? You have a week to decide. You're excused. It makes you gay? What a waste of time. Karen? Homophobe. Even Karen? Your days are numbered, bitch. Holy shit, got a hobby. Sucks, don't it? Okay, let's hear your dumbass insult. What? It's Pilot just like Twitter, they're still seething right? about me. You think I'm just another sheep, don't you? Is sheep interchangeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just say I know a place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know, maybe the straight club? The straight club? No, oh my fucking god. Jen Rollins and has never apologized. It's a sign of weakness. I don't think I ever did. Shh, it's on the DL, dude. What the hell is the straight club? Just a place for us straights, you know. Our a a super straights. The GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. Can I just say that I think the super straight thing was like a was like a psyop, or like like false flag, because it like the super straight thing they literally use like the the Pornhub colors. It was a troll op. Yeah. Is. Like, it had to be a troll, right? It was a troll? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It was funny, though. I just thought it was weird. I never looked that much into it. I gotta be dreaming right now. It was just a meme. Oh, okay. More like so incredibly fucking stupid, there's no way it's real. Oh, it's real, all right. And you're invited. I feel so special. Come on, it's fun. How do you know those colors? I don't know, maybe because the fucking Pornhub intro has been a meme forever? We make signs, plan events, talk about John McCain, have pizza parties, just a wholesome get-together. Wholesome, huh? 100%. Do you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, alright, sure. Okay, where is it? Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? You're in luck, too. It's straight club movie night. Swell. We're gonna watch Fight Club. Guys, the straightest movie I know. Guys, welcome Nicole. Oh, what's up? Fancy seeing you here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? Nah, but I got it. Cool, let me help you. So you're in the straight club, huh? Ah! Ah! Maybe what the I fuck is happening? Come on, come on. What the fuck is happening? I didn't press anything, chat! This is a real noise. It's not a psyop. It was a bunch of bros being totally straight, bro. I didn't even press anything, chat! I'm watching- Ah! Hold on.
God damn it. Hold on, we've got a... We'll just skip right back to it, it's fine. It's the food you're eating. I pressed the, I pressed the mute button well, and it did it. Okay, Here maybe it's kind of a long story. It all goes back to when I finally started narrowing down my interest to a couple key hobbies. That's a mini thing in the five dollars. I thought super straight means you're don't make me say it. not into and having a really... I love stuff like that so much, I, don't I know, wasn't man. afraid to tell anyone about it. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. And ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. Good. Yeah, that's what they said too. I saw other kids get bullied for being gay or foreign, and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Who came to the defense of the like foreign an kids? Anime is a choice. Exactly. And that's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. Okay, that surprisingly what? clicks. Except for one thing. What's that? Why the fuck did you pick the straight club? I couldn't really pull off being gay. I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda show, but then he came out as gay, and it was like no one was allowed to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Mm -hmm. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if that's true, why do we have to be so secretive of the straight pride club? Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's called a Redskins tailgate. Uh, never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. Really not the time for politics. It's not politics. It's fucking dumb as shit. What teacher would even sponsor this? We couldn't get an official sponsor, but one teacher agreed to under the table teacher. sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor Photography teacher! Us? Greetings, fellow uh. straights. I brought the movie, Nicole. Greetings, fellow now straights. Now we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. What's the movie this week, coach? It's not Rambo 3 again, is it? Nah, I thought we'd switch things up from the last four weeks. I got a very special copy of American History X. Seen it. Carbonated pissing like Not so fast, Trick young club lady. What than makes the it GSA? so special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. Just a man proud of his heritage kicking ass. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in their BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. So this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 minutes cut out. Who wants to watch? The fuck is American History X? I don't lose anything from fun dollars. The super street thing was a 4chan troll to use arguments being made against people. It was cringe, but it was funny. Okay then. It's gotta be like a Malcolm X thing, right? Don't play dumb, Pippa. I, I genuinely have not seen this movie. I have not seen American History X. It's a Malcolm X movie? No, it's not Malcolm X? It's not Malcolm X related? What the fuck is American History X? American History X. What is this? Living a life marked by violence and racism, neo-Nazi Derek Vineyard finally goes to prison after killing two black youths who tried to steal his car. Upon his release, Derek vows to change his ways. He hopes to prevent his younger brother, Danny, who idolizes Derek from following in his footsteps as he struggles with his own deeply ingrained prejudices and watches their mother grow sicker. Derek wonders if his family can overcome a lifetime of hate. So like in the last 30 minutes of the movie, that's when, that's when he's not racist anymore? For best year thing with five dollars, movie night management will not allow you to movie night. What what the fuck is this movie? It was a great film. It has really high ratings. It was a great film. I don't feel like watching this. Could it buy anything from five dollars? It's the movie that the bite the cur. Oh, that, this is that movie. This is that movie, like from the Alex Jones clip. Oh. I don't want to watch that. Well, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. Oh my god, my YouTube shorts were nothing but Schindler, Schindler's List clips for a long time. I don't know why. I, I don't know why, chat, but like, like I'd be scrolling through my YouTube shorts and like the clips would come on and I'd just sit there and I'd watch them. 
And I don't know why. There's something about, like, movie shorts. Like, movie clips. It brought me back to, like, a, a, an earlier time. Do you guys remember, like... Like, 2008... 2000... Two, like, 2000... Mm, yeah, like, 2008 to, like, 2011 YouTube. How there was, like, this trend of uploading, uh... Movie clips. Like, this was right before, like, um... Like, actual, actual movie companies started uploading clips. Now, if you go on YouTube, there's like, there's like, oh, clip one out of ten for The Dark Knight Rises. But back, back in the day, it used to be like, people just uploading their favorite clips on their own. And they used to become like, memes and stuff. Manofsky reacted and come BBB. Like the Hitler one. Where he's like, nine, 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 nine! That was good shit. I miss those days. So anyways, that is to say, I was, I was enjoying watching... Movie... YouTube shorts. Sideways in front doors. Hey, uh, Piba, rough day at work, but the boss, who is also the homie, took me out for a few beers and a great talk. Hell yeah! Hope your evening's going well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you, I'm glad you had a good time. Ah! This is gonna rule. So, Nicole, what brought you to the straight club anyway? Some drama, don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone Nicole was homophobic because she didn't want to date Holy her. Holy shit! What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? Not blaming all of them. Yeah, that's what they always say, but these freaks won't stop till society's underwater. Can he say that? I don't think totally he can say execute that. execute those weirdos. Now that's what I expected to hear at a straight club. What's her address, Nicole? Let's show that bitch a lesson! Whoa, chill out, I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm gonna choke slam you into the sugar cube castle! I told you I didn't know her fucking address! Kyla, Kyla, calm down! Holy this is shit! Way over the top. I don't get it, coach. I thought this was the straight club. I know, but you're being messy. Besides, I'm a teacher. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. Oh Great my god, you, coach! Get her address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. Come on, straight club. First the student files, then a drive down 95 where the gas is cheap. Down 95? Wouldn't that take forever? I'm not gonna burn our house down with expensive gas. Oh, hell yeah! Let's go, boys. Oh, oh my god. Bye, the doors. Check out Luke who's back sometime. I wonder if I'll get blamed for this, too. The dinosaur movie? Help me out of this shit. What the? Where'd everybody go? We're off to commit a hate crime, Maybe Jeffrey. find something other than being straight. Uh, Lou Boogloo, thank you for the doors. Happy birthday, Jose from Pipkin Pippa. The room is cinematic gold. I've been watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking good. It's actually really bad. Oh, we'll see you later. Dude, wait. What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now. We have to stop it. Okay, slow. Way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. They all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us had. No, it's all men! Oh. How are they victims? They're jealous of gay pride rallies, that's all I gathered. They should be, they're fun. It's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. Cool, so they're on their way to kill Ari right now! Cool, summer's oh, yeah. boys. Why would this they burn the only way to win against... they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me and now they want revenge or something. They were set off like to win, instantly. To win the gay so game is just not to play at all? I thought you hated her. Are you saying don't be gay? crime that I am gonna get blamed for! These guys are insane. They watch American History X with the ending cut out. But it's about a racist guy. Isn't cutting it down good? The end's where they learn how to not be racist! Okay, okay, I get it. Except for one little detail. What?! Why the fuck did you come here?! Call the police! When have the police ever done anything good for us? Real? All right, let me get my shoes. No, hold on, hold on. Sleep? Call the police. Hello, police. Some some people are about to go burn down a gay person's house. Oh, um, do you have evidence that they're going to do this? Yes, they told me they are going to this gay person's house to burn their house down. Okay. Uh, do you have it written down anywhere? Did they, did they email you? Did they text you? Do you have it, like, recorded? No! Okay, we can't help you. Bye. Of the Merkel Hopper thing in July's original ending, the movie, he became racist again? What? Ari! Ari! Why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently ten feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge Fair where the gas is cheap, so Help we police. have a few White minutes. people are at it again? The price is what the cheaper, fuck? but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh yeah, to burn the house down. Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. What the 
fuck, still? Marathon. What do you want? It's almost 10. Is your family home? No, they're out of town. What the fuck do you want? You gotta get out of here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. What? Who would set my house on fire? Coach Colby Straight Club. They're mad at the general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even funny. You already rejected me. Now you want to prank me? She's not making it up there on the way. Okay, then Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Have you ever tried calling the police about something that hasn't actually happened yet? I've got a spoiler for you. If it hasn't actually happened, the police do not care. Because if you die, the school would indict me as the cause of the hate crime. You really got to get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? Doors, so they can show up 10 minutes after you're dead? Okay, ah, true. where's the camera? There's no if you need a written camera. evidence to get a no police response to house, it, no wouldn't be, it wouldn't be able to... It wouldn't be possible to swat people. Chat, swatting is like... They have a... Swatting? Swat, when people call in swats, they're like, Oh, this person has a hostage in their basement. And they've got a gun, and they're threatening to kill this person. Call a bomb threat, Pippa. When you're like, oh, this person said that they're going to go burn down somebody's house. It's like, oh, well, they haven't actually done it. It's a different situation entirely. I think swatting's a different situation entirely. Call the police for a domestic violence call. They get very excited for those. And they lie that something already happened. Yeah, it's like, oh... He killed his wife, and he's standing over her corpse. I have to check. No, it's exactly like a bomb threat. Hmm. Hmm. There no... The guy from Drumline? Come on! What do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh... Fine. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, herpes fully loaded. I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. Why me? I thought you were- I've heard sounds like they were just a bit upset. Yeah. It's like- It's like with, with, with streamers and YouTubers and shit. And just like... Basically just like any... I guess like... Person in the spotlight with things like celebrities and shit, right? It's like... You can- you can be like, Oh, this person said they're gonna come to my house and kill me. Here's their full name. Here's where they said they were going to come to my house and kill me. And the police are like, yeah, well, they haven't killed you yet, so... You're mad at her. Oh, I am. You can't be anything, Better Nicole, to say you heard gunshots, plausible deniability. Corrupt, yeah. Selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad yet. at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general, just a heartless bitch. That's not how it works, Notorious M. I implore you. ...to watch some people's first-hand experiences with this kind of thing. Because, bro, there have been- there have been streamers where they actually, like, document... ...the- the fucking stalkers following them around in public, showing up outside their house, sending them weird messages and shit. But the police, they always say, they always say, yeah, like, Amaran stalker? And if you don't believe Amaran's situation, there are multiple other streamers that have come out and said the same thing. Two speeds in the doors. Damn, that's a lot of green flags for real. Bro is sheltered. Bro is sheltered. I'm getting one guide. Sweet Anita, best slash worst example. Uh, about well, nothing, Dolores. Ari is out of line, but she's right. Bitch. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser, and I don't give a shit. Oh, well, you You're did the in the other route. Choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole. And I need you bad. Is she Bitch, flirting with me? therapy. Okay, but she confessed her love for you. Are you gonna kiss her now? No way! Fuck this bitch! Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How else is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh... What if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Do you want to hear yes? I'll get my shoes. No ah. time, get in the car. Silver Dog's name, Fred Lawrence. I actually had to call the cops because a guy was running around the I house screaming about killing someone. Nice about five cops showed up in five minutes. Chips. 
Well, the fear of being blamed Did he say he for had a gun? inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't think it was my fault. And I gotta keep this up for another six and hope she doesn't figure the charade out before graduation. She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you want to watch Heroes? No, I don't want to watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks. Jekka's the only person who's in on it, and every day... See, there's homophobia here, but them burning our house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. If a Obama's plane crashes, gay. does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn, or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. Los Angeles. The Highland Jug Loading for the Lord's call the cops and say you already bodied them, that guy stalking my sister, arrest that guy. Wait. Say you already bodied them, like you already took them down? That got a guy stalking my sister arrested outside of their house. Oh? Uh, Gulliag Tithe thing for the $2. Cops have no duty to protect you. First Supreme Court? Yep. Uh, Highland Jug Loading for the. Oh. Where the hell was it? Oh, um. I read that. Mr. Tittlewaddles, thank you for the five dollars. Had the police ignore a report of arson attempt one. Sad. It doesn't matter if I don't own it. Same night, the house burned down. Almost killed a relative. Yep. Our collecting the dollars. Pippa still doesn't know about Obama. I would think you would say Pippa still doesn't know about Michelle. 911 emergency service request. Hello, this is a 911 with an. Or this is 911 with an SMS update on your service request. The approximate wait time for your police officer arrival is in one hour. Please find a safe location until your first responder arrives to assist with your arson hate crime. Thank you and have a nice day. To no longer receive these messages, reply stop. All texts from 911 are subject to a 25 cent service charge. This is completely unrealistic. The 911 does not text you. They do take an hour, but they don't text you. Um... Alrighty. We're at four out of seven endings. Well... It's well... You wanna... oh, God. Call the cops twice, they texted both times. Going? Really? Bunga bingo tango mingling. Dolores Pippa doesn't know Obama's last name. Look at my head. Obama gay? Gamer then come big Pippa! Okay. Um, what do we do? Go to the mall. Can you we know not what? steal? Inform me, Nicole. Lead the way. Oh, I guess we do have to steal. So why don't you both in life? Oh wait, wait, wait! Wait, that was an actually different route. Hold on. That was like new stuff. Let's try that. Okay, hold on. New game. Fine. This is a sequel to the other game. Yeah. Going? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead. This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Brody? Holy shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out, my mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well... What are you, homophobic? You drop out? Uh, it's a lot of yeah, paperwork. 9 11 you inside. Think about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Yeah, it's like 80% of dropouts. Like... I don't know, the TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore eating bitch. Hey, whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God <laughs> damn it, fine, sorry. Get back in Good. the wavy, Katie. What sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large? Hey, tell me Damn, what's the one dollars. size she wears, too? Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked <gasps> in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you, bitches. I'm Obama just gonna go back and pretend to look. Referred to Michelle as I'm Michael in an interview? Moscow. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck do you think I'm a large? Come on. Okay. How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean, learn? You can't just take the shit in front of him. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we leave before we get caught. We can't leave now. That was such a rush. Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. How the fuck you are you gonna steal yourself? Dairy Queen? Yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Should we try Sarku Japan or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Oh, God. 
God, I ate way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter? You think Ew. we got Trody fired today? I don't know. I don't care either, weird. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall. But he has to, like, support himself with that. Yeah. Almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Since when do you, of all people, worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy, because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off, because I learned how to read from nothing. <laughs> what if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? what? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. Is this true? That's really specific. That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're, you're going to end up nope. sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. No. Yes. Check, please. What? You're not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You should have gotten you to go boxes. Have a busy morning. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused. Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. It's thing. Yeah, yeah trauma, trauma has to be one of the excused anime books. parties, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole. Excuse me. Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Okay. Let's see you here. I like how it's almost unanimous. All right, I guess we have AIDS. Okay, you're gonna want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And the nurse told us we might be AIDS positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. Is that how that you works? You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the... Like the Springfield Clinic? And you expect me to just believe this? No. Shouldn't you? Yes. Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. I, I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? I don't think it's that we uncommon. Didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties. Yeah, school's closed. With homeless people. Homeless swinger parties. Yeah. And it's TMI, but I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a sex in general fetish. Small world. One of my 30 boyfriends has that too. 30 boyfriends? Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh... I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon. Or you're expelled! This sucks. Well, that escalated. This really sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. 
We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share. Oh, what a we coincidence. We can all learn a lot from them. Multi square count sad. Right now, no, I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Whatever. Why is it? Are you slut shaming right anyway? now? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? Huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male porn star? Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? About the Saturday thing? Yeah, I was almost late filling it out. Like it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. True. And the male teachers? Pedophiles. Pedophiles. How'd you know what I was gonna say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well I'm gonna go to class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS assembly again? I mean, to why be fair, how many AIDS assemblies are you gonna that have? because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? My god, you sound like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole. You got a minute? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But, I, I mean, nah. You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... But yeah, how are you? What's her dragon thing? Human text message? message? These characters are just terrible oh, people. I love it. The voice actors are 10 out of 10. You're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. A knife showing you. So what you doing Open today? Open the Let's see here. We already did theater class. We could do art class. One? Keep skipping. Double down, keep skipping. I think we already did that ending though, didn't we? I don't think it's gonna lead to anything else. Right? Three? For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're going to draw a few characters. Oh we're gonna draw my newspaper. god! It's like newspaper without the ink. What? what the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for for drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. Needs. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? Yes. we are if we took this class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be drawing characters. Any characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. Can my characters murder bitches? Be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole? What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. I remember one time in art class, we had to, we had to paint. And I didn't like painting. So what I did is I took a bunch of black ink and I, 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 I like covered up the like, like 95% of the page. And then on the like very top part of the page, I drew like some cat ears. And I took it up to the teacher and I was like, here, I'm done. And she was like, what is this? And I was like, it's a cat hiding in the shadows. And she was like, can you draw a cat not hiding in the shadows? And I was like, no. No. She was like, yes, you can. And so, I had to do it again. Who speeds me with the two dollars? She should just draw Sasuke and Naruto kissing! Like, like normal high schoolers. It's your first assignment, just play it safe. Any other questions? Are yeah, but then it's not I. people hanging out? Of course, though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think, why are they hanging out? 
What purpose brought them all together to hang out? God, bitches and shit. If there are no further questions. Did you learn a lesson? No, because I proceeded to piss off another art teacher later in life as well. The one that ruined my perfect GPA! I don't call something on 56! So pop it in and say, Hi, oh, my favorite Yabbit! I shouldn't be up this late, but here I am. Well, it's a cringe to our favorite bunny! Ba -ba -ba -ba. I hope you- I hope you sleep well! Uh... When you do sleep... Eventually, you can fall asleep listening. Huh? The bad thing for the large art teacher looks like a Wojak in color, and with hair. Kinda does. Questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Fuck drawing or actually draw? Chat, what do you guys think? Fuck drawing or actually draw? Oh, it's very torn. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let him go. My mom said to pick. The very best, and you are it. Fuck drawing! Bitch, you do that shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? It's the same thing. Well, yes. So what are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, yeah actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? For the easy GPA. What fucking college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? I remember, I remember I was short on elective credits to graduate. Which I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. Why do you have to take electives to graduate? That's stupid. So what I ended up doing is I, 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 I like made like a deal basically with the, um, with the English teacher. And what I ended up doing basically was quote unquote taking like three different electives at the same time, quote unquote. Because, like, it was down to the point where I had, like, no other classes to do, really. I had... I had those elective credits, I had math, and then I had... Um... PE that I had to do. And so... For the elective credits, it was just... It was just like, oh, okay, I'll, the The teacher helped me out and I took, like, three quote-unquote different... Um... English classes, basically. I think I took... The regular English class? Um... And just counted it as an elective. And then I took quote-unquote creative writing. And then took... I don't remember what the other one was. I don't remember what the other one was. Why are you silly yourself? Fuck off! I'd rather see an A in an easy class That's than a B cool in teacher. a hard yeah. class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. Oh, you have heavens. a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole. You have a teaching a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> well, let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. Oh, man. Nicole, dun, we're not dun. even in it and you're getting sent to the principal. New record. Don't be jealous. You're on your final warning, Nicole. Final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. I need a math credit for my senior year, so I took a class I already took in middle school just for an easy credit. What the fuck? You can do that? No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here I'm is boring. a game to you? No, Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. What? If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push, and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. Uh, still mechanics in here with the $10. My senior year was funny due to vocational school credits, so I had to take classes just to kill time. I legit only had to be in school for half a day, but I had no way home. That fucking sucks. I'm sorry. I had that happen. Uh, there was one school that I went to that was only like two hours. Like, it was literally like two hours long every day. So... Um, my parents, my parents would drop me off or I'd take the bus. Um... 
And basically, I just have to spend the rest of the day at the library. Like, I'd get, I'd get dropped off at like 7 a.m. And I'd be there until like 8 p.m. Marshall, thank you for the $2. We have mandatory volunteer work in Ontario. Jesus. On the bright side, I had a laptop. So, I used to, I used to play on my laptop. I, I read a shit ton of manga. I think I read, like, every manga that they had, except for the stupid ones, like Naruto. No offense. I don't like Naruto. I also didn't read One Piece or Bleach, and they had those. I read so much fucking manga, I just sat there. I sat there in the manga section, just reading. Yeah. Um... You couldn't eat in the library, though, and I really liked snacking. I'm a chronic snacker. So... I remember I used to sit at the lobby of the library, but the lobby was, like, open... How do I explain this? It, like, had... these opening doors, and it was, like, attached to, like, a, a parking garage thing. So there was no, like, heating or anything. So in the winter, it was like, do I want to... do I want to snack and eat? Or do I want to be warm? <laughs> Drip Drag, they were the $20. Topic's over? I know, but it's true. My mom reported her stalker at one week, even when he was stalking her outside the PD. Cops did nothing because he didn't actually interact with her. She just drove home different ways till he disappeared. Hmm. Uh, Red Olson, thank you for doors back in my day. I like this. We're working on cars and learning to wire buildings in high school. Shop classes are great. Every school has those programs. Tough, cool, uh, tough choice. Yeah, I would, I would split my time. I used to buy entire bags of cherries. I would, I would buy a whole bag of cherries and I'd sit there. At the, at the library entrance. Or I'd go into the... There was like a, a stairwell. There was, there was like a concrete stairwell and it was warmer than the bottom part and like I could still sit in there and eat. But every so often like people would walk through and they'd just like stare at me. And it made me really uncomfortable. So I stopped doing that. The hangout face is in front of the Feliz Colombianos! Believe a Pipkin recently discovered a masterpiece known as the Prince of the Price Master by the YouTube algorithm wars. Feliz 35 Años. Hip hop in front literally did social studies elective and mostly just took electives that focused on history. Like post World War II, Cold War history. It's all mostly war. Sounds fun. Mmm. Cherries are good but annoying to eat. Yeah. And then McDonald's in front the anime club kid that wore. Naruto headbands ruined anime for me for a decade? Holy shit. Hmm. Well, one time when I was in the... When I was in the library lobby thing. The parking deck area. Um... I already told this story, I think. But a man with, like, a cart came by? A man with a cart. It was like a rolly cart. And it, was, it wasn't like a shopping cart, it was like a, it was like a, like a janitor's cart or something, but he didn't have janitorial supplies in there. And he was wearing like a white plastic vest. Yeah, the orange candy slice guy. This, this guy walks up and he offer he, he takes an, a slice of orange candy out of his pocket and he's offering it to me and he was very polite. But I didn't want to eat his pocket candy. So I waited until he was gone and I threw it away. And then another time, another time, I was sitting on, I was sitting on a bench and I was wearing a white hoodie and I went to clear off the bench because it was muddy. But I wasn't very smart because I did it with the sleeve of my white hoodie. <laughs> and then another time, another time, this was like a bench like right outside. Um, another time, I was sitting on that exact bench. And a family friend walks up while I'm talking to one of the homeless people. And she's like, Pippa, do not be alarmed, but your mother got into a car accident. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I gathered up my things and I said goodbye to the homeless person. And I followed the family friend into her car. And I was like, so were you just saying that to get me away from the homeless person? Or like, what's up? And she was like, no. Your mother actually got into a car accident. But don't worry, she's fine. I was like, what the fuck? And it turned out. It turned out that she got into an accident. 
with one of the kids from my school. That's crazy. He came that thing with my doors. I carried two science creds from middle school and ended up graduating with 12 of them. Only needed four. I'm supremely stupid. What do you mean you ended up graduating with 12 of them? What the fuck? Uh, Frog Jupiter, thing with my doors. Since I did so many APs and dual credits for 10th and 11th, all my science credits were full from my senior and I got to take free, uh, free time for the period. Nice, nice. Small world, man. Small world. Mmm. Done to an accident with the homeless man's kid. Now, was that the homeless man's kid? Sounds like a real plug line. Kinda does, actually. Uh, Rex Fighting from Lars. Pippa, did you hear the song? I did not hear the song! Oh, wait! The song from yesterday! I did not. I did not. I'm sorry. Um, James Harding or Become Big Pippa. Did Pippa try college? I took, like, one college class. And then dropped. I took robotics. I took a robotics class. It was like... I think the actual name on paper was like intro to robotics or something. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have alternative learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. The people... the people on the campus were mean to me and I didn't feel like dealing with that. Daniel Sierra, I think, Dolores, was Mama Ken okay from the car accident? Yeah, she was fine. Uh, ended up getting a, a hefty settlement from... Um, the car people. Because it was actually like a recalled... The car had like a recall on it later. I missed the 50 PPPs. What? Oh, Jesus! Bye! Thank you for the 50 PPPs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Jesus, I'm so sorry! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 50 PPPs! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mmm. Jesus, the 50 PPPs! No, no, no! Man. Uh, the thing about college is that you won't ever have to see those people after that class. Yeah, but I didn't want to deal with that. So I... I was like, no. I don't even know how long the class actually was gonna be if I stuck around. Hmm. Hmm. Chair is dull housing with the five dollars in high school. I was missing a math credit to graduate, so I had to trade some of my credits to graduate. It's wild how different some deals are. I'm trying to remember how long it was. I think it was like... Was it like an hour long? Two days a week or three days a week? Something like that? Usually like four months? Ah, oh, I was enjoying it too. And I kept impressing the, the teacher with my, with my knowledge on robotics going into it. Cause I was like, I was like unironically into this stuff before I, I went into the class. Um, what's for dragon thing? I'm PPP. James Harding, five PPP. I'm explaining for Lars. I'm not going to stop giving your money until you listen to the song. God damn it. I'll listen to it. I'll listen to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Robotics is goaded. It is goaded. Really now? I wouldn't look at it as an out. Believe me when I tell you the classes you're in now are a lot more pleasant. Maybe it would have we'll been one of your callings. That. Again. I prefer being a beat warning. I just don't understand why we can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Actually, there is. But I'm not allowed to say it. Uh-huh. Besides, I can't even stomach the American version. They just change so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Have you heard of it? Will you shut the fuck up? Well, hey! You're YouTube going used to be watching anime. Yep. You can't even tie your shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Uh, the first anime that I, ever, that I ever got addicted to, like hardcore, was Lucky Star. I had technically seen anime before that, but I didn't like really, really like know what anime was. I guess, technically. Right, like I had watched like Sailor Moon and uh, Hamtaro and Pokemon and Digimon and Bakugan and like a bunch of shit, right? I remember Lucky Star. That was like my real gateway drug. And I used to watch it on YouTube in the divided by three parts. Azumanga Dial, I remember watching Azumanga Dial on my laptop in Papa Kin's RV outside of a casino. Um. 
you were like you were like living outside of a casino and they had phenomenal wi-fi believe it or not um you're speaking do I, the alpha takes priority over the teacher oh god oh god not that clip episode two part one of three yeah yeah hmm and then I got the Lucky Star. I remember when the Lucky Star mangas first came out in America. I used to stock the Barnes & Noble uh, manga section. It was my favorite place to go to, was the manga section in Barnes & Noble. That and the How to Draw Book section. And I remember I would go into the kids section and I would feel self-conscious, but they had all the Pokemon manga. Oh man. And they also had Zelda manga over there, but I never read the Zelda manga. Because I wanted to buy Pokemon and the other manga. There, there just wasn't enough money. If I had enough money back then, I would have bought the Zelda manga. But I just... Sorry, Pokemon took priority. And I remember, I remember like... Every time I went in... Because we only went like once a month. At the most, right? So every time my parents took me to Barnes & Noble... I would, I would go up... I would go up to the little, to the little front desk thing. It was not a front desk, it was like a middle desk. It was like in the middle of the store. And I would be like, do you have Cheese New Home? And they would be like, Cheese New Home? I'd be like, yes. And then they'd type it in, but they'd type in cheese like the food. And I'd be like, God, oh my God, no, no. And then I'd tell them how to spell it. And I kept waiting, and I kept waiting, and I kept waiting. And now it exists. Now it exists. Now it has a Western release. But when I was younger, I was just, I was waiting. I was waiting for so long for that shit to get released in the West. Ah. God, these baka gaichins, she muttered to herself. Yeah. I remember the Wolf's Rain manga came out. That shit was crazy. I think those were my favorite two mangas. Lucky Star and Wolf's Rain. And I really enjoyed Inubaka, and then it got cancelled. Fucking Vibs Media. Fucking Vibs Media, piece of shit. Fuck you. Cancelling Inubaka. 17 fucking volumes in! 17 fucking volumes in! You're gonna cancel it?! And you still sell that shit?! Even though you cancelled it?! So fucking annoying. Just watch the cheese anime, it's better. Cuz I already watched the anime! I wanted to read the manga! Rain was so weird and melodramatic. It really is. Also, the manga was really different from the anime. Which confused me when I was younger. I was more used to like, if you read a book, the movie is going to be like basically the same thing. But with, with manga, I learned quickly that anime and manga are very different from each other a lot of the time. Um, big bad beard thing with my daughters in high school. I threw someone under the bus and blamed them for the hentai girls I had on my camera after my mom snooped. I had to feign inner ignorance hard. What the fuck? Hard thing with my daughters. Lucky Star was also my gateway drug. Which character was your favorite though? Kaurata. Uh, spider do thing with the two daughters. My first anime was True Tear. Second, Harley. Hmm. I really liked Konata. Of course, she's literally you. That's why I liked her so much. I was even into sports at the time. I was really into sports when I... When I... Well, I don't want to say really into sports. Because, like, I wasn't actually doing sports. But I enjoyed playing basketball. I wasn't, like, part of a team or anything, but... During recess, I liked basketball. Hey, Palming and Dolores. I always miss the days of Akira in general. My cousin showed me Bleach. And I derailed from there. Uh... Gargus, thing with the two dollars. Hope you are doing well today, Miss Popcorn. That's not my name! Hoisty, thing with the Did you watch the Wolf's Rain anime on Cartoon Network late at night? I did not. I don't think I had cable television by that point. I remember doing that. It takes me back eons ago. One joke, man, thing with the Pippa, have you seen the Sword Art Online abridged episodes? Uh, I think at some point or another. Yee. Yeah. Quicker is all. You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what's wrong about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite, second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. A and you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend hey, touching your popcorn, penis? Papa. Well, I don't want to rush things, but one day, yes. Okay, let me help you out. 
approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck you. Who, who said I was trying to do that with you? Just a talk between friends. I don't think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even Fire. a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way... Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. I'm hearing a bit of profanity over here. Is everything all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing. Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Missing geek. Well, all right. Back to work hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, waffle moment. Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. But I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I'd better myself. No, I was extra mean to get you up, so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, First anime was Spice and Wolf, well, and I was in a gang. What the like fuck? You need an escape. The manga club's doing a. Just stop there. Manga club. Hold on. You told him kill yourself while your mom watches. Yeah, that's really good. I yeah, know, that is right? good. And that didn't get you written up. Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, kids who are going to go to jail straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just going to let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Chat, what were those classes called? For like, um... Oh fuck. In like, regular public schools, they have like, a room that they section off. And they do like, they do like, classes for... Like, fuck up kids. Is it called remedial? Brandon Burrow saying her Dolores remedial classes has two endings, so be sure to save! Oh. Corrective Learning Academy. ACADEMY! THAT'S WHAT IT WAS CALLED! ACADEMY! Gifted student classes. No! Fucking failure student classes! They'd sit you in a room! I never had this. I never had this. But they'd sit you in a room, and it's just like a bunch of... It's just a bunch of computers, and you would take like online courses or some shit, I think? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Academy. Yeah, what was up with that? How did you even end up in that? Red Pirate Robert thing with the five dollars. Just a room. We had a whole other school for those kids. Was one of them. Arson. What the fuck? Summer courses? No, not summer courses. How do you know? Because I I heard like it being talked about as like one of the one of the options when I was a fuck up. You had to mess up bad. Oh. Just grew up big time. Senior plus. I had remedial classes, not online, out of pure laziness. Hmm. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? You're in one it's of them. For government. Congrats, Why? dog. Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. Hello, yeah. seating. What the fuck? You want five dollars? Do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh? I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter Gilly with you? Enemy was high school or dead on a certain alone. website with a hamster when I was 13. You? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach. Still good anime, shame Tell I won't me continue. what's wrong, because mm. you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. My introduction to high school of the dead, the thing that made me want to watch it, was I saw a clip on YouTube of... Let's see if I'm remembering this correctly. It's the girl with the really long purple hair and she was wearing nothing but an apron and she was getting a drink out of the fridge and I was like, yeah, I need to watch that. So, why did you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not gonna write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh... Because our government hates women. <gasps> Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. Not anymore, you can't. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? 
if you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principal. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Oh, no! Join the club, Jekka. I could sit with you if you want. No, fuck off! You really don't waste any time, do you? No. Nope. Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. A uh, communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Holy well, if not for communism, based. why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women, that's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism as communism. Uh, See? He's fucking the insane. The he wants man to rape door. women and force him to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with ya. So, are you writing me up? They locked me in a steel door concrete room for an hour or two once. Pro tip, telling a therapist you're hearing voices a little too much trolling. They wouldn't do that for that. They're not gonna do that for that. Only if you say you're gonna kill yourself. Or... Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your behavior? reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, Nicole. I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Oh, that's too far. That's too far, Nicole. Good I would news, never Nicole. watch Desperate Housewives. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you Sideways get eight alimony nice checks a month. Where argument, the fuck Nicole. did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up. That was just a joke. A also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at PF Chang's not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I, I got would a job watch it if it was on Little Kosher Deli in Falls Church. Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's <laughs> value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. What the Nicole, fuck? I do not hate Jewish people. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Let's Whoa. not read into it. I won't feed into cool, your negativity the and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy thoughts. So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know, took them long enough. No, what the fuck is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. But weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm going to go to the read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. Holy shit. Jacko is freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough and crazy. Hey, you got <gasps> remedial English too? Oh my god, this is this is like exactly what the fucking detention room used to look like at one of my schools. This is like exactly, except for there were more deaths right here because there were a lot of kids in detention. Holy shit. And then, oh man, like along one of these walls, there would be like the computers, but there was only like two computers. So everybody would be like, I need to use a computer. And the teacher would be like, I say teacher. I don't even remember what that bitch's job actually was. The fuck was her actual purpose? I don't even fucking remember. Anyways, she hosted the the um. Oh fuck! What do I call it? Whatever. Delinquent hours. Anyways, yeah, she's a babysitter. Um, she'd be like, "Oh, you need to use the computers," and I'd be like, "Yeah, I need to use the computers. This is this is due for like my next class, and I have to turn it in." And she'd be like, "Well, you should have done it earlier." And I'd be like, "Okay, well, I'm just gonna get in more trouble if I don't do it now." And she'd be like, "Well, you should have thought of that sooner." And, I, and then I remember, I remember 
the fucking teacher calling up and being like, Oh, okay, I know Pippa is in the fucking thing right now, in the little delinquent hours right now. Um, uh, I need her assignment thingy. We're doing, we're doing the reading thingies. Can you have her bring her assignment up? And the fucking teacher would be like, Oh, no, actually, she can't bring it up because she didn't do it, but she can do it now. I'll have her do it now. And it's like, what do you mean you'll have me do it now? Why didn't you let me do it earlier when I said I had to do it fucking earlier? These other kids aren't even fucking doing anything on the computer. One of them's playing ski whenever you leave the fucking room! I saw a man acting with the $5. Nicole's mom should have not been denied her abortion rights. True. God. I remember she used to leave the room. She would leave the fucking room, chat. And she would stand right at the fucking door, and we could see her dumb bitch face in the fucking reflection. Holy shit! She thought she was so fucking smart! Wait, just English? I thought all my classes would be here. Nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, they'll let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Mr. Some Jenkins bullshit with be. Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. <laughs> what was that last part? I said I wish <gasps> the Holocaust what? happened. What? I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. Oh my god. So this is remedial classes. I'm remembering why all I hated right, school so much. Start. I want to see you all in your assigned seats. Oh, she's pretty. I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. Are we finished? Oh, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. Welcome to remedial English. My name is Miss Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one earbud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate for English. I can't remember anybody wearing earbuds or anything. I feel like this wasn't really a thing. In, in my schools. I don't know if it's just because it was like lower... Well, I, I feel like even in lower income areas, people would still have earbuds. I don't know. To rich back then? Okay, maybe it was because it was lower income schools. But I don't remember anybody ever like trying to listen to ear... like listen to music or anything. Nobody, nobody like had that stuff. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge Caravan, bitch. <laughs> just please yes, okay, we Okay, maybe I need to learn middle classes anything? too? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we oh know. Oh my god. His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, guys. Just please Okay? Like, Socially conscious that. music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of modern poetry by the African-American community. You wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article on it. Real? Yeah, do you oh, sorry, Tupac on cassette or something? I think we're the 2500 clip arts. The opinions expressed within the content are solely the characters and do not reflect the opinions and beliefs of the streamer. No shit! Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern poetry. It needs to be four pages, double-spaced, and feature a variety of citations of proper modern poetry. We don't read proper modern poetry. And this assignment will force you to do so. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Fuck Are you bitches, get money! Slang? I might too, it's okay. Why I'm an act like Please shut 30. the teacher up. Yeah, it's she's annoying. Lunch. At least she's hot though. Keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. I remember this. Pentification thing with My history teacher would practice his golf swing while giving class. He would swing his golf club at anyone that tried taking his soda from his mini fridge. Love that guy. Best teacher ever. What the fuck? Bahamut thing. Dolores Tupac was overrated. I don't know like anything about Tupac. I watched an entire documentary on Tupac. I guess like it was part of some music label that promoted like East Side and West Side rivalry. 
And so one of the West Side people killed him. And all the other people that were part of Tupac's music label were like, Oh, nope, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And so everybody left and they started their own music labels like Dr. Dre and Eminem. Why didn't Kerr then come with me? I used to collect the detention slips and hang them on my wall at home. And single Saturday morning detention I earned was a gold trophy. Jesus Christ. Nemi is anything, I'm big, big, big. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, lunch. It was actually really fucking cool. When, um... You were, you were in like, in school detention or whatever the fuck. And you had to do the, um... Or even like, just time detention. If your detention hours happened to overlap with like, the lunch period. You would get to go before everybody else. And it was so crazy. Like, you didn't have to wait in line or anything. Hey, Palm Nigger, the ten get big, big, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got the important bits. That's all that matters. I got the important bits. Kyler, was that a negative remark I just heard? Where the fuck oh, did you come guy. from? It wasn't even negative. I was calling something bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Why don't you come with me for a refresher? No, he's gonna get talking, raped. Talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? Holy What's wrong shit. With your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, What about your grades? Like, go away. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the essay? I remember, I remember at the end of the year, I would show my parents my record, report card. And one year I got like all Fs basically, but it was in middle school, so it didn't matter. And, um, Papa Kim was like, why are your grades so bad? And I was like, I didn't feel like doing anything. And he was mad for like an hour, and then he took me to the video store and we rented movies. Is here? Yeah, and remedial you have to, or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. That's why I think we're Yeah, Kanye and Beyonce it's are pretty remedial, cool, right? but have you heard of guess, Oh my god. Like, modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? Triple C's? No. Oh, cares to message me? What the fuck? Whippets are when you suck the nitrous out of a bottle of the whipped cream can. How did you not know? I don't know. Kersha? Maybe because... I'm not a fucking drug addict? What the hell kind of question is that? I should be asking you how you know, Kersha. Uh, TD Shell reading, Dolores. Is it safe to assume you take more after Popkin? I don't know. I think I inherited my mother's mental illness and my father's aloofness and apathy. Sideways in front of I remember weekend dad, the two or three weekends a year he wanted to show up. Jesus Christ. Bitch, quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. They weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the beltway, they don't care at all. No, if only I had a car. So, you want to do them with me? Maybe a little early to get oh, high on coffee. Oh, my YouTube medicine. chat stopped what? responding. Like we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 1030. This way, quickly. Oh, there we go. How do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really Oh, Kirsch is saying she never did whip it. Who here in chat actually believes her? Oh, we dead? Oh, is chat back? X to doubt. She said, I just know what they are. Oh my god. Okay, what's it like to do whippets? Do you get high or something off of it? Um, let's see how she responds. She did better stuff, probably. Maybe. It's like two minutes of vacation from the world. Maybe I should do whippets. Just hop sharpies instead. She sent me a clip. From waiting. Nick and T-Dog does nitrous oxide. Why are you Nicole? I'm not! 
She said, yeah, you get kinda high. But it takes quite a bit. Like, how much? Let's see how she responds to this. Only a little bit? Winners don't do drugs? God damn it! <sighs> she got me. I asked her how much and she said, I don't know, I've never done it. God fucking damn it. I'll just say likely answer. John Garrison Dollars wakes up the Discord messages about how to do drugs. <laughs> and you're not even twenty dollars. Don't do that, Peppa. You need both of your brain cells. <laughs> Man! Do I though? Do I really? Uh, Silver Ashes Anger Dollars. Pippa, look up the photo of Steve O with Whippets. What the fuck? Hey, Palm Anger Dollars. Don't we had soldiers dying of that shit overseas? Uh, for all income, baby, I'm, uh, it's okay, but it's permanent brain damage in a can. Uh, she said, Are you going to try Whippets for the content? Chat says it can cause permanent brain damage. Which means I'll only do it if you do it with me during an off collab. But don't worry, because I will pay for the whipped cream. She said we're immune then. There we go, perfect off collab. Uh, my list of anything with those whippets are what rich kids with divorced parents who don't want to do coke would do. I think coke sounds safer. It says, whip it to the Ouija board, what could go wrong? <laughs> Perfect. When one of us... ...goes into a coma, we can still... ...communicate. Hell yeah! The whipped cream makes it fun. The high is caused by lack of oxygen, so yeah, they do. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I'm not thinking too large. If it causes brain damage, you'll be just fine. Fuck you. For punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. Well, where do you wanna go? I don't know. Out? Around? I got a prescription to pick up. Oh, she said, please inhale extra whippets for me after I pass out so you can communicate with my astral projected soul. And I can tell you about the other side, honestly. Oh, sweet. I hope we get isekai into the same world. Chip Kennedy, thing, Dolores. Pills, whippets, really becoming a streamer. Hell yeah. You go do that. Oh, Kirsten said that hell yeah. Go there or do that as an abuse the prescription. No, you can't do that with Seroquel. It's not a fun high. Oh, so what's Seroquel for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's oh, you would like need that. Any psychotic, or it's an antipsychotic. Only else needs Yeah, but ready sleepy. whip is cheaper than coke. Don't force me to get it after I slashed your tires. But if you're a rich cool. kid, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So you want to go with me? Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not gonna skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. Y sorry. On the subject of rich kids, you know what I really fucking hated in school is when like the 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 fucking kids from like rich or wealthier parents. You'd be talking to them, and you'd be like, Oh, I heard you got an Xbox. That's crazy. Your parents got you one? And they'd be like, No, I did choice to get it. I earned it. And you'd be like, Oh, really? And they'd be like, Yeah, I did. I took the garbage out for like two weeks. And you're just sitting there like, Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with someone cool. Are you hitting on me? What? No, I got a boyfriend. But do you actually love him? Yeah. No. I love that my parents hate him. Close enough. But seriously, come on, let's go. Jealous Pippa? Fuck yeah, I was jealous. Oh, Kirsten said, Oh my god, Jack gave me a great idea. We should have a Pop-Tart guns to fight the ghosts we summon with the Ouija board. Okay, but only if we get to do it at a college campus. With TTS on. Uh, do something evil with the essay. Skip school with the violent alt girl. I think this is probably where we should save. Um, you guys are saying two? God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. 
Oh, Kirsha said, wouldn't that be breaking and entering? I don't think so. And if it is... We'll just... Accuse them... Of being ableist. Because we're retarded. Uh, Jim Rollins, thank you for the $2. Have fun hallucinating your intervention. I will, thank you. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damage poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid, I don't own it. Oh shit, Kirsten said that's actually smart. Let's do it. Hell yeah. The attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we Would don't like to sign to class, my petition, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car you drive? 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two door. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm glad but I'm glad. Don't forget the content spread. Because we kept using Who's them as bottle Dolores, I would snort That's antipsychotics hot. with her You're in like an instant. Avril Lavigne if she never the got fuck famous. was that sound? I know, right? Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? No? It was like a popping sound. What the fuck was that? Fucking demons, man. Not those D thing, but Laura's it was a rich kid that didn't get allowance because the parents are divorced. They knew someone who did whippets in old school. Fit all the criteria. The ants are organizing. Heads are on to you. Run, Pippa, run, please. Don't scare me like that! Gee, check your windows. You guys are spooking me. All right, let's go. Hold on. Cool. But first, we gotta stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. I am gonna check my cameras. I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck mm. off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Doesn't seem like anything. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper but stuff. Than there, but Super Straits found Pippa's house. This shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS 13. I have the pass. Okay, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? <laughs> You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and- Is it ibuprofen? Can you see anything, Dolores? You've got your rifle by your side, Pippa! Hmm. Where did I say anything from Dolores? Sorry, I'll make less noise. The insulation in here pops when you step on it. Jesus fucking Christ. They're M&Ms! Red, is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, Just me, Dana Dolores. Let's do I be broken really together, old girl. You were really good. Yeah, ah! exactly. We're really good at fucking. Okay, ah! I'll just. This ah! might be the first time they ever actually received. I didn't mean to skip. I tried to. I tried to scroll back to make it not skip, and it skipped more. Just be saying, dollars. I heard that. A villator thing for fun dollars. Had a rich girl get bullied by the other kids for having a Hummer instead of a lifted truck. Got his parents to fix it three days later. That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Stop this. on the pill. Yeah. Did you see? Oh. This might be the first. Okay. Well. No. Marijuana is a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay. We'll just sell it. Oh, this, uh, wait. You want to call I'm, and I would eat. Oh my god. Damn, that wasn't even there 20 we go. minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana is a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. 
Okay. This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Don't we yeah. ever Do you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so hot. Fuck, we need money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey It's not here? a drug, though. Weed is a drug. So is you alcohol. Don't? No, I just call him nerd shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30. School's been over. Wow. Time is, like, automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Faded uh, are you in the home. throw bleach on me again? No, no. What she means is, like, are you looking to blaze right now? And caffeine, yeah. Blaze. Like, Blaziken the Pokemon? Blaze! Pikachu is a Pokemon. What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. You're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG Kush? It was a different Wait, time. I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? You shut the fuck up. Gen 4? Earlier than Gen 4. Try, but Gen I think 3. My time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I hate him so much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You've seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. I've literally told him to kill himself and he'll still try to be friends. This oh, me too. Nice. He just likes me, 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 he's me. turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. It's okay. What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. After the way he just talked to us, me neither. Are we gonna do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? Oh my god. You did actually. It's okay though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. Character a development? lot of people have been talking about it. I don't know. You guys mind. are dorks. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? I guess so. That'd be good. In like a date sort of way. Yeah, I'd like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Jeffrey the oh, Chad? Nothing, nothing at all. Um. Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um, okay. What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. What, what the fuck? What, is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? Do you think I'm making all this up. I don't understand. No, don't I do my boy like this, you hoes. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon before going down on me? 493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. Oh, no. You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. What I need fuck? you to pay for my treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go. What the? Karen, no. Come back. They're so evil. I feel better. Yeah. I, I don't even feel like I'm freaking a harlot. Please, Jeffrey, alone. steal all that stuff. Drop me off after that. That's yeah, horrible. Jesus Christ! But yeah, that was protective. Oh, pro life, I bitch. Taste better when they're stolen. <laughs> Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know. Are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, Mom. Ma'am. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half, like the sitcom. It's what? one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really wanna know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Stupid! They found oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general! Just how can you be so idiotic? A uh, happy ending where someone beats Nicole to death? Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix yeah, that your fucking with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops
Fox would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Pandora, is the wrong Your say, plan's so just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Holy shit. Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you. God, that felt good. What's happening, I I Black Swan? My mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Why? Just all the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. Crush it up and snort it. it. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. That's Besides, amazing. I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. Why beat Nicole to death when there are hungry wood chippers out there that need a meal? So true. How do I do this paper, dude? There's gotta be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss Ames? Wait, people actually it? drink palm Me juice? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama last summer. What? Oh, oh no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was, it's still misogynistic. It's so Understandable. true. Understandable. Take all the time you need. What is palm? Well, it's like this spontaneous. overpriced what? juice. How you switch the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah, it means like- Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. Ah! Always the same What table. the fuck? What? Oh, no. Are you trying- well, I don't even know what I did! Like how you switch the assignment? No, or not that. with pretty tasty? I've never had it before. Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. This keyboard fucked or something. They I don't know. I don't know what I keep doing. Cat in the ghost? Hat live action ghost. movie. The one with Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Versus kids are like, Until no, we now, have a focus. We want to see exactly. the crazy girls fight. down for anything, even if it crosses the line. Bitch, what line? Exactly. This is doors. Miss Ooh. Ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect little world, and I want to ruin that for her. Oh yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um, sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh, fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. You should okay, kill what her. What the fuck is this? Can Rather you stoner her hair and tell her face in the one? toilet? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo. You're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner's always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm um, thinking Dolores palm juice. I knew that bitch what was soft. Juice? Yeah, she's weird. I what think was Dolores? the idea, by the way? <sighs> I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? 
Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't catch us, right? I think remedial's already school keep your jail. Mouth shut, right? Who's cool. waiting for Lois? Uh, uh, it should have been me, school. not her. Oh, oh, cool. So yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up. I got it. Wait. You don't even know the combination. Don't worry. I'll get in there. Isn't what? she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C's in Alina Park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't be a bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. Insane how? Psych what about the bad guys? Girl in class, I want a girlfriend with anger issues. Fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is going to get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired of her now, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on. But why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, Blood. she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Wow, that's, uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. <laughs> We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. What the Does fuck? your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, come on. If you saw someone Jesus talking Christ. to me, what would you do? Oh, uh... Damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend Just cheating, what would psych you do? Sucks and that thing that's oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. No yeah, way. he fucked all this shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin may as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan after high school, right? Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this. Oh my god, they're going to fucking kill themselves. What? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Well, ho hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. She's voices kind of spike-pilled. Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. Really the psychiatrist the, the might disagree, but have you considered for listening Jeffrey. to the voices in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. We sure do. Are we gonna oh, wake up to her choking us? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. Oh. I love you. Oh, cute. Yeah. Cute. Are you gonna see it back? Okay, now I do wanna kill myself. Ah. This piece of your I still would. Love pouting your Dolores Pippa can fix her! And that is why modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? 
I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no, it was a really cute shirt, so I cried for like nine minutes. You must get that hard to believe. Chat, no, no, it was you can't actually fix that? such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, all work is sex work under it. I met the crying uh, front of the class. This oral presentation better be good. Here, the two seven nine. I hope be. innocent Pippa isn't uh, being influenced. Yeah. Well, go ahead when you're ready. No warm-up or anything? I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole-ass poser. <laughs> and why's that? Poetry's about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories, too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? Yeah, and poetry sucks, too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. The poetry's linked to the poet, good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around. Lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly! Wow. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hummerway. Hemingway, whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay. All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Cause you can't have a good story knowing there's gonna be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C plus. That's it. Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many poems have you published? Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. This is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community, have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I'm Jesus thinking, Christ! Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper Christ. than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? I think this is actually the it's part honestly, oh, that I clicked on the Kirsha stream while she was playing this. You know, probably coked out of her mind. Says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me. Cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't that was a spelling that. mistake. What I'm trying to say is, I you can both. skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So I passed out. I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. I can't say the same for Emily, though. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Just made thank you for the five dollars. I don't want to fix her. I want her to shatter my rib cage into a pulp. Play the skin from my back. Leave me only able to be identified by dental records. Okay. Sergeant Bakhtin, one large English major here, can confirm, but I have no plans on committing endgame. Good for you. I'm proud of you for not killing yourself. Now or never. You won't see this, because they make us turn our phones off, but I just want to write this for me. I'm glad we are dying together. It just feels right, and I can't think of anyone I would rather do it with. I may as well write this to. Uh, I'm super fucking gay for you. Sorry I lied in the hallway and didn't tell you before we shared a bed and changed in front of each other. I don't know if that's a rape or whatever, but if it is, sorry, lol. I can die fulfilled, because dying together with another girl is a bigger commitment than some soft-ass bitch getting married to the Jack... To Jack the construction worker, or some other boring white guy who can't pronounce... Okay, I can't pronounce that either. But yeah, if you pass out first, I'm gonna try to fall over on you so it looks like we were cuddling. It's kind of romantic. Huh. Stop howling, for lords. You're lying April all over again. I'm gonna cry! It was a boring white guy. Confirmed. Confirmed. Has been that you want super list. It's short. Ah, uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. I think these other these other endings were a lot better. I think we started off on maybe the weakest endings. Somehow, these ones these ones have been a lot better. Keep this game. Oh my god, there's another one coming out. There's another one coming out. I'm trying to think if there's any other versions other than the re-up. There's the original one where we we got all the endings. I did I did the rest of the endings on Twitch. But I think these are the only two versions of the game. Oh, the double no double up is is the combo package. Never mind. There is yeah they're making another one. I think. I think. The last one was dark but good. More tangents. Another one is coming. I thought so. Maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It wouldn't be the first time. Alrighty. Mr. Erling, Fadors, they say if you listen hard enough, you can still hear her screaming about Pop-Tarts. Oh, so we're thinking for the 2,500 clip arts. Well, 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 if it isn't Pipkin Pepsi, 3.33 years old from Phase World, some Roblox employee, maybe. Agent 10 thing the $2, give them Fishman's ID, Pippa. I should. Identification thing with $10, Pippa, I can help. I just need your mom's maiden name, your last social security number, and credit card number. Don't worry about the $800 charge of fried chicken. Oh, okay. One joke man thing for dollars, and, and the stuff they put in the water to make the frogs gay. <laughs> Jeremy May, thank you for the $100! Thank you, thank you, thank you. No message this time. No strange message this time, Jeremy. I'm almost disappointed. But thank you, thank you for the $100, dude. That's very generous. Uh, improv man, thank you for the $2. Get a messenger pigeon. JP, thank you for the $5. Imagine living somewhere with a functioning government. Lamal, first world bros. Potato radio, thank you for the Lord's when What? Next you will say the TVs have cameras and mics as per the former head of the CEI. Wait. Since ending to Norris, Kapipi Bros, I think we missed out by not dating a psycho abusive chick in high school. It's so over. I got drifting for Norris. Would those disposable phones with preloaded minutes be better? No, because they still ping off of cell towers. Flaming TP thing for Norris, I recommend these Pop Tarts, Pippa. Want one? Come and take it. Oh my god. People still fucking misinterpreting what I was saying. I don't know if it's even misinterpreting. I feel like people are just genuinely trolling with that shit. It's just gotta be. It's just gotta be. I refuse to believe the people... Listen, listen. There's people... I'm not even gonna do it. Two squeezing or doors. If wishes were fishes, I'd be in the ocean with Emily. Both, maybe? Oh, got me. Don't get baited, Pippa, please. Yeah. Mother Eagle, thing to Dolores. Play FNAF. Cult of personality, thing with Dolores. Cry of fear should be free on stream. It's horror. I think I played that. The Jared Grandmaton thing with the $2, the Mimic. Tony Stark thing with the $5, finish Yik! This is thing, Dolores, how about all them super chat lists? 
are nothing. Vendors never give ID to any online service that's not government related. Your data will be leaked and sold. Mr. Yearling, Dolores, you've been range banned for the true PH experience. Data radialing with Dolores, Kirsha Simulator, TM. Zara thing with Dolores, I graduated high school in 09. Don't need the mind anything, Dolores, if you can read this, you are ESL. Moth Eagle Link, Dolores 09, more like 1984. <laughs> Sebastian Monroe Link, Dolores, a fiery but mostly peaceful protest. One joke man thing with Dolores, Pippa, I wish this game had an ending where some space marines from Warhammer 40k just drop, land, and slaughter the whole place for the Emperor. Marcus of releasing with Dolores the freedoms we give to live in Pakistan. Skate Geek thing from Dolores Pippa's weak immune system. I grew up in California, hose water, and I'm fine. Just hear voices. I used to get sick like every time I went to California. There was a there was a very brief period of time where I lived in California. Very, very brief. Um Like when I was really young. But, um, later on, like, every time... Every time going back to California, like, it, I would get, I would get so sick. I would get so sick, I think from the smog. Uh, Jen Rollinsing, Dolores, or an actor, a billionaire, or a Hollywood exec? Infernal Saxon, thing, Dolores, have you seen your bootleg merch in Walmart? I have. Chief Spartan, thing, Dolores, this is the most unhinged shit I've ever seen. Sir Badass, thing, Dolores, Twilight 2, Conversion Therapy. Copperhead Snake thing with a five dollars prepaid phone, pay with cash, wear sunglasses, and a hat to bypass CCTV face recognition. No way. No wire try wire trace back to you, dispose after use, and buy another. I don't think you can buy prepaids with cash, can you? I don't know. Jeremy Main, thank you for the hundred dollar deals. Hope you're feeling well. Thank you, thank you! Thank you for the message and thank you for the hundred dollar deals again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're feeling well. Um, nuclear taco thing, movie. Thank you for being you, Peppa. Thank you! I'm Gerson thing. But Lois, I come from the future and exist here for 10 seconds. But whatever you do on November 22nd, you must never... What? November 22nd? That's the thing. Dolores TikTok is a mental illness. McKenna is golden here. Thank you for Dolores. Peppa, do you have Ligma? Now. I was gonna talk about... I was gonna tangent. I can't tangent. I really need to use the restroom. There's a lot of things to Lars. I have Pipkin. There's a lot of things for Lars. Oh yeah, congrats on the clothing collab. Announced on the official face Twitter. Oh, did they already announce it? Here we go. I'll show it off to you. Bam, 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 bam. And on my bay. Collab. Copper snake thing to Lars. You can just not at self checkout. Pippa ruined. Uh, Astro Lime, thank you for the two dollars. Pippa, a friend told me you haunt this n haunt his nightmares. Nicholas, thank you for two dollars. It's because Irie is white. Cannibal Small Cost, thank you for two dollars. You can click the pill bottle to go back. Melvin Merkel Hopper, thank you for two dollars. Black guy gets curbed in American History X. Okay. I, I don't say that like it's okay. I mean like okay, like we we had this conversation, and I remember the scene. Uh, Melvin Merkel Hopper, thank you for two dollars. Can you play Cry Fear again? It's my favorite, and I wasn't here the first time. I don't remember if I actually did play it or not. Maybe I don't know. Not the Fox name for Dolores. American History X is about a former neo-Nazi after he goes through prison and is no longer racist. He gets raped in prison. Okay, thank you for including that detail. Kimara, thank you for Dolores, a classic glorious American film. And thank you for Dolores, putting another man's meat in your mouth will change you, I guess. What? Slav Kainiki, thank you for the two Dolores, American History X, aka Dental Plan. Sideways, thank you for Dolores, I don't know, man, that coach was a prophet at this point. Sideways, thank you for Dolores. Oh, I read that. Oh, those are times. Right, thing for the five dollars. Please, our reactionary force. At best, they really get there before the crime is committed. If they're even willing to get there before the crime is committed. T. Greeny, thank you for the. Oh, best baby thing for one dollar. When Anime Bay models your shirt, make sure they get one of the girls that wears fishnets to wear it. What the fuck? T. Greeny, thank you for the five dollars. Pippa's about to be rejected from art school. I'm scared to see the outcome. Red also thing for doors. Back in my day, electives were working on cars and learning to wire buildings in high school. Shop class is great. Last evening, Dolores, high school is worthless. Get your GED, start working at 17. Is there anything here the five dollars? I did a fifth year college program in high school. Dropped out of the college part way, but had enough credits to graduate halfway through senior. Nice. Uh, could you buy anything Dolores? Pokemon Adventures or Electric Tales of Pikachu? I like the mystery dungeon mangas. This is last thing, Dolores. I just watched a bad movie for school and I wish I watched the stream instead. Ah! I want to read the entirety of... of the Pokemon mangas. I think I read a bit of Electric Tales of Pikachu. But I didn't buy any. Kansas Law thing for dollars. I just want oh I read that. Maybe it was a bad movie now, but you'll watch it like five years from now and you'll be like, oh. 
That was actually so good. Uh, Angelic Slicing with the $5. Brandon Barrosing with Dolores Remedial Class has two endings, so be sure to save. Two speed sing. Dolores, while well, her mom is Elon Musk, maybe she'll get a horse. James Kazing, for Dolores I did, I had long hair so I could hide them. Listen to my iPod all day and no one noticed. Nice. You know what's game? Mihado, thank you the $10. I'd purposely go to Remedial too if she were the teacher. Dan Almasi, thank you for the Boa, thank you for the Whippets have been around since the 70s. Sideways, thank you for the Whippets are fun. I've only done NO2 out of a little can. Pretty fun, but only reserved for a few times a lifetime. Not great for the brain. Two speed, thank you for Crystal was cool as hell. Chikorita, cute too. Two speed, thank you for the $10. I want Miss Ams to put one of those spiral textbooks in my mouth and her hands around my throat. I would let her dispassionately drone about Tupac into my ear as she slices my chest and thank her for it. That's all you could come up with was a spiral binder? The spiral... spiral notebook? What about she shoves your finger into one of the spiral notebooks, like in between the, um, the spirals? And then you have to feel the pain of, like, the, the, the edge of the notebook cutting up against your skin, and then she can, like, break your finger. Using the... using the notebook. Angelic silencing your two lies. Have you seen your artwork done by... Tyrone Rogu? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm bad with names. I'll have to check. What the fox thing for Dolores? You fill a balloon and sip on it. A medium balloon with a few breaths. Did a few times in my life. It's just nitrous oxide. Man, uh, Daniel Sierra thing with Dolores. Why do I see you as a character in this game? No. Here you shall be thing with the $50. Today's... or tomorrow's my birthday. Ah! Not sure if you're streaming then. I will not be. I'm sorry. I said during your only upstream I was going to quit nicotine before then. I've not gotten to that point exactly. I'm on my last pack and won't buy more. Pippa Love, thank you for being you. <gasps> Hell yeah! I'm proud of you for making progress on quitting on quitting your nicotine addiction. And happy almost birthday! Happy birthday, Shelby! Happy birthday, Shelby! Happy birthday, dear Shelby! Happy birthday to you! Ah. Ah, I'm proud of you! Alright, uh, this speed thing with my daughter stress me, it's hard to get a co- Hard to get coke as a sheltered rich kid, especially when you put in a, the residential treatment in a different state. Your FBI agent think you were the 333. Sorry, that was just me. This speed thing with my daughter alright, Pippa. Let me try that, thanks for the advice. Wait, what was the advice? The bottle thing with the two dollars or the five dollars my AC just turned on and made a popping sound. Get out of my walls, be gone! Maybe it was the AC kicking on. This other thing for doors when my dad was in high school, he used to sell other kids alfalfa, telling them it was weed. Kinda base, not gonna lie. And the document thing for doors, I'm positive they only know one form of oral presentation. Napalm motor part thing for doors, am I the only one that who thought good riddance? To, to our friend who killed herself after her poetry presentation? You fucking monster! When do you start streaming? I stream every Tuesday through Saturday at 9 p.m. ET, 6 p.m. PT. Oh, we gotta listen to that song! Hold on. Hold on. Mom, 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 mom. Mom, 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 mom. Let me mute the game. I'll play this. Oh, here we go. Hold on, restart. I'll screenshot to show you guys. Is it too quiet? Against 
They turned off comments! I was gonna leave a comment! Top step kin. You'll be more Pippa, Jesus Christ. Call 911 now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a YouTube auto generated channel. Find his real one. Oh no! Oh, I'm stupid! Oh, god damn it. I'm a fucking idiot. In no, in real life. I fell for the bait. I'm an idiot. That's really negative thing if I thought I love your new trap single Peppa. Thank you. One of, one of Lumi's songs, our song Lumi is on, is in an arcade machine. Can this, can this happen with this song? <laughs> Make this your intro, oh my god. If I saw that, yeah. It's your thing, it's always. Hey, that little G compilation, but this is the background. Oh, but it's gotta be set to Phantom Forces. It's gotta be set to Roblox Phantom Forces. LG Phantom Forces Pippa featuring Kickin' Chicken Compilation Yeah, Phantom Forces Trick Shots Telling Room 56 Oh, is this a new intro song? Baby, if they're okay with that I'm not making it out of the FBI watch list with this one Why are you yellow? That's racist. Yeah, like that, baby, that's what I'm talking about! Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Hey, this is pip step. This yeah. is not dub step. Fuck up. This sweet thing with Deloitte, I tried the finger thing, isn't even broken, shaking my head. Oh my god. So not funny thing for the 420. Dot. Zinzin, you were the. $10 Instead of just dot, is it more, is it actually pronounced... The, the, the click sound effect? Oh my god, I forgot the name, what the fuck? Oh no, oh no, chat, what was that sound effect called where it's just, it's just like... It's just a click sound effect, it's just a click sound effect when you get a headshot! Oh fuck! Send something with $10, the inside of my headphones when I can make them pay. Is it called, is it CSGO underscore headshot? Oh, fuck, I don't remember. The hit marker! Yeah, hit marker! Hit marker! Oh, man. Oh, man. 
I want to make MLG compilations again. Oh, it's from COD! Is it from COD? Okay. Call of Duty hit marker. It's been so long. It's going on 10 years, chat. Alrighty. I'm gonna read Sheena! Thank you again, Sprinkles! Featuring Kickin' Chicken for the dubstep. It was very good. It was very good. Um, I will see you guys on Tuesday! What's a cringe? What's a cringe? Love, Sheena. Sheena, love! Alright, bye bye. Ten years. Yeah, it doesn't fucking feel like that long, does it, Chet? It doesn't fucking feel like ten years, does it? And then you look at the fucking date and you're like, holy shit! Okay, bye bye. <laughs>